disturb and just like turn off turn off like sound notifications but you can still get like the little dingle because okay. i have not been off do not disturb in like 50 years <laughs> i never want to be disturbed uh hi yam's not joining us today she's she's sick that's like the prime directive like subtitle of your autobiography level self-descriptive statement brendan blaber i never want to be disturbed that's true <laughs> I did not have time to do anything off stream. Uh, you will see why, because something's getting announced in the middle of this. We may see why, but we won't see you play. Oh, yeah. We'll see, this is the reason that I was like, oh, I'll hop in early. So my friends will hop in with me so they can let me know if something like that is wrong before I hit the go live button. <laughs> but I guess we're all failures today, Aram. Oof. I mean, you had more than... You said I'm setting up at 3.53, so you had more than four minutes to start streaming, all, all I'll say. I don't... Oh, I've got so many dark cherries. I don't want these. The dark Put cherries. Put them in your store. Are those the ones that, like, there's some vendor who buys them? I think you can just uh, sell them to any vendor or something. It doesn't matter. Um... <clears throat> My queen, are you very sure about this? These lands are very dangerous. <laughs> and I guess, uh, Danny, you can take over the queen. Oh, okay. Um, if there was any other way, I assure you I would take it. Turn you up a bit? Okay. Oh, do I need to turn up? You're okay now. The Forsaken Lands. Do the rumors hold true? Many dangerous beasts roam in the Forsaken Lands. Some even disguise themselves in various forms. Famished creatures, always waiting for their next meal in this land where plants only grow by miracles. <laughs> but heed me. She nothing grabs in this V and squeezes her. <laughs> <laughs> but heed me. Nothing in this land compares to the horror we will live if, if the wasps get the sapling. <laughs> I've heard that termites dislike ants heavily. Why would they open the door? Would they open the door? <laughs> We can only hope they realize this matters concern them, con oh, concerns them as well. Having a queen with us is not the worst insurance. Let's proceed at once. You are to keep me safe, but I will support you where I can. Leave it to us. You can't be any less useful than Maki. <laughs> be careful out there, my queen. The real horror would be a kingdom without you. My loyal subject, I thank you. <laughs> Please wait faithfully for our return. This guy's shooting his shot. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Our Boom. journey ends here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, shit. Yay! It's dead. Oh, let me close my door real quick. <laughs> wow. Oh, these normal bugs, I see. Hatton, so this is where you crawled to after your exile. Who's this guy? Oh, just a little scientist. A mad scientist with, with no concept of ethics or safety regulations. Oi, oi, all right, I read this correctly. <laughs> oh, my stuff never hurt nobody. Too badly. I do not have time for a trip down memory lane. You all seem pretty, uh, buzzed down. Must be real serious. We must travel to the Termite Kingdom or all of Bulgaria will be doomed. Kabu. Boy, that sounds rough. Wouldn't help my research at all either. If you've got any tips, it'd help. This is some thick fog. Nothing to be done about that, but, uh, this land's full of trash, yeah? Bugs have been marking it to remember the correct path. So long as it's not a forked road, you keep your eyes open, you should be fine. Hatton, thank you for your assistance. Now about that there, uh, exile? <laughs> we will discuss that when the kingdom is safe. Please keep your trinkets here for now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Drop by if you ever want to peek at him. Oh, Lou, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, got, you need a throat lozenge, guy? You're okay? Okay. So, is this like a Lost Woods? Probably, I don't remember. Yes, uh, there are certain things that um, you have to pay attention to in your your background in order to stay on the right path. Snake mouth oil is pretty funny. 
I think this is like um, Chet. Is it Chet Ripple or Rip Chetto? Both, I think, right? Yeah, they. Uh, you can sell. He sells you stuff for a high price. It's kind of cheap, or it could be good. Or he'll like trade your uh, badge points for health points or TP or that whole canoodling thing. CD. This is a CD neighborhood. <laughs> mm. Is that ketchup? I'm sure somewhere Aloha is making the obvious joke. Oh, I'm quiet? Okay, one second. Uh... Go to my settings. What the fart? I got got. This Royal Decree do? That's pretty good. Okay, because this is better. Quieter, actually. Quieter? Yeah. Jesus, I did it the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Professional voice actor, Danny <laughs> Chambers. God dang it. Uh, um, let's spy. Is this a strategy? I always forget where spy is. It feels like it. I'm used to it being tattle and being a character's mm, like yeah. ability. What a harmless creature! <laughs> I won't kill you. <laughs> You're useless. <laughs> it's mm. impressive it survived in such a dangerous area. We can't afford to underestimate it, however. V, lower it so that I may strike. I love you how You got it, boss. Works the winch. <laughs> I'm so amused by how they, like, feel the need every single time to be like, here's how you beat it. But, like, it's... Like, if you haven't picked it up yet by this point mm. in the game, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah and such. Hmm. Is, um, oh god, is, is Will in the, uh, oh, what's the other playthrough you guys are doing? In Stars and Time. Is he in that one? Yeah. Okay, I gotta go back and watch this from the beginning. <laughs> oh, I, I see, so if Will's in it, you care. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I was, I want to, but I was like, oh, I don't know if Will's in it. Because the he ya uh, reminded me of it. Oops, I got some new power I didn't read. Uh, I think if you press start, you can see what it is. Ah! Rah, rah, rah. Our journey ends here. Curses! <laughs> the bridge is out. However, shall we cross? Let's look around. We've always found a way. Our journey nope, ends our journey here. ends here. <laughs> <laughs> I dare say, you've been thwarted this once. Oh, Your journey God. ends here. <laughs> pushes them into the chasm. The horrible feeling when you realize you've read a, you've cold read a line wrong. <laughs> yep, and I'm like, oh God, it's over. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, these lands are disori disorienting as is. Would there be a path we missed? Not in this direction, from what we've seen. Are you a uh, hundred percent sure? If only we could cross this smallest of gaps. V, my queen, you shall carry us one by one across the ravine. What? Oh, ho. Do not call me that again. Yeah. <laughs> I will rend you limb from limb. We've tried this approach, and... If it was a vast canyon, I would reconsider, but there is no time. V, this is an order. You must try. I can't do it alone. Just carrying Kabu would be hard enough. We'll support, V. Come on, try it out. How? How <laughs> will you support? You can do Emotionally. That. <laughs> Been practicing. <laughs> then there is no longer an excuse. V, fly with haste. God, I'm gonna be all sore. Fine, whatever, leave it to me. Fine, whatever, lady. Here come the punches. <laughs> what is happening? So, we're getting paracarry? Whoa. 
That's how Leaf flies. Practicing. Well, Leaf, can't <laughs> can't you just carry us across? I could, Maybe. but I wasn't ordered to, was I? <laughs> See you. <laughs> uh <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, we got the we got the God. regicide ending. Ooh, I love Kaba's face. He's like, don't drop me, please. That's a snail. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> uh, Oi, aren't snails slow and stuff? The Forsaken Lands really are super dangerous. We can still fight them just like they're numb nails, though. Right, Kabu? I don't know what this creature is. <laughs> what a harmless creature. It's got defense like a mofo, though. Nice. Um... Just gonna, I'm just gonna do nothing. Let's do nothing. Get there, him! Hmm. It's got two defense? Don't worry. <laughs> that seems unnecessary in a game where most of the characters do two or less damage per hit. Oh. Well, now it has more defense. Oh, oh, I love no. this this pose. <gasps> <laughs> I do think giving. Uh, there you go. I'm so bad at pressing the buttons, man. Because if I'm, I never. My brain will never remember which of these three buttons are where on an Xbox controller which is the only controller I can get to work with most games on my PC, because mm. Sony hates uh, me. <laughs> and it's so hard to look at the buttons, look at my controller, especially when there's a third Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga mechanic of, hit it when Kabu's underneath. And I'm like, I can mm. look at all three, man. Yeah. What is this? The world ends with you? How am I supposed <laughs> to manage this? I... Um. I feel like I never really figured out how they meant for you to play that game because I just ignored the bottom screen the whole game. I was like, you you, you must be to. joking. Yeah. I can't, how would I possibly do these things that you're asking of me? Oh. No. Now we have enough. <laughs> what a harmless foe. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty good actually. <laughs> Dead. You're trying to trick me, but I've played this game before, sir. Nice try. It's <laughs> mm. a pumpkin. That's actually a good gotcha. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, please do the spy on the the guy on the right, please. <laughs> uh, 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 why are you Why are you doing uh, that? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, oh wait, Kabu on. Okay, okay. Sorry. That was okay. Hiya! <laughs> well, heck this, you're going down! As if you could put us to sleep after that scare! I'm terrified. What do I do here? Uh, well, it's time to spy. It's time to spy. That's a pumpkin! This humongous creature sports <laughs> armor soldiers would be most envious of. My horn can only barely hurt it, even when I'm at the front. It may be wise to save our skills for the defense three. Unnecessary. Un uncalled for, TPH. Bro, all right. I mean, like, why bother? Like, what can V do? <laughs> right? Yeah! <laughs> cool. That was so aggressive. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Ow! I feel it's unethical to have enemies with three defense in a game Thank where two you. of your party yes. members have 
no bonus attack at all. That seemed like yes. I think again it's a uh it's a misapprehension of balance based on things from Paper Mario because you can get away with that shit in Paper Mario because by the time you see enemies with three defense, your hammer does six damage. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one thing I did wish, like uh, they would have some sort of upgrades with their their regular weapons. I know the badge or the medals are there for that reason, I guess, but if you want to use like a basic attack, I feel like that should yeah. go up as well. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on you. <laughs> gonna bonk you right on the head with my big old pumpkin butt. <laughs> Why does he sound like he's a crib in my style? <laughs> Oh baby, I'm uh, I'm a very distinct character with a much lower voice. You know, I dig. Uh, oh, that it's a good thing up. that doesn't kill me for yeah, no doesn't reason. Kill me because fuck you. <laughs> I can't die on your turn. What? Man, uh, I might have to take favorite one off of or life stealer off of Kabu for this because oh, his attack is lowered. Yeah, that's I forgot. That's dumb, man. <laughs> you cannot steal that which never existed. <laughs> right, what's the cheapest V ability that does damage? Oh, God, they're all so expensive. All right. Here we go. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> you missed. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Leaf will kill it. Leaf has bonus damage to plants. I did forget about that. Oh. Well, I, oh, I yeah. tried using Leaf's ability the first time and it didn't work because uh, he didn't have the damage buff. Can I read you Kabu's spy for that mimic spider? I think we can just look at it. Oh, we can? Okay, good. Because it's really funny. I think it's number... Oh, shoot. I love you. <laughs> uh, mm. it's... 42. Yeah. Greetings, fellow ant. What brings you to this? By the blessed statue of the goddess Venus! <laughs> you cursed mm. fiend. How dare you spook me so? <laughs> I shall strike you down. Here. <laughs> Alright, hang on. It's yeah, that's too cute. That's very useful. Mm, okay. <laughs> Status booster TP. Yeah, that's good. This is just not helping. Um, yeah. We got five now. Do you want Triumphant Buzz? That one's pretty good. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. TP won't do anything right now. I was so disappointed when Luckier Day didn't do anything. What? <laughs> How can this be? How could this happen to me? How could this happen to me? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Accepted. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. Ah! <laughs> I'm helping. I'm supporting. Don't worry, we'll make it. What? <laughs> Kabu, don't you have wings? He uh -huh. does, but he's... <laughs> don't want to work. <laughs> We've noticed. I do all the e around here. It's only fair you guys should do the flying. Yep. Oh, God. Not the clumps. Uh-oh, gang. Ow! We got to deal with the clumps now. <laughs> 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 My mom had a bad case of the clumps. <laughs> it's a shame, because before I could cash my last paycheck to pay for a treatment is when I got isekai to this fucked up bug world. <laughs> I guess she died. Maybe she'll join me. <laughs> The only cure for the clumps is getting hit by the truck in the first episode of an anime. <laughs> Let's take a look. Uh-uh, skills. Items. I always forget where Spy is. <laughs> I see what you mean about having the vines a different color. Yeah, it... 
Yeah, it's a small thing. Appearances are truly deceiving. I never expected them to possess such strong bonds. V, lower them. <laughs> <laughs> then Leaf can use ice on them. <laughs> This is funny <laughs> every time. <laughs> I haven't been able to do anything in a while. I hope you guys don't feel like I'm a burden. That is not why I feel you are a burden. Thanks, man. <laughs> You're always there supporting me. <laughs> like the halfway point between Boomhauer and Meatwad. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! V, decrease their altitude. <laughs> v, place them upon the earth. V, for vendetta. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Wasn't very good. <laughs> uh. You guys are gonna leave Chompy behind. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Let's go this way. Get punished for it. No, I think this is a secret. There's a little man here. <laughs> Alright, we're screwed. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, we had some donations. Let me read this. We had one from The Invader. Hey, chat, smash or pass L isn't. She's an ant. I don't. Let's see. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry I read these. I pressed A. <laughs> uh, the Invader, $5. Ella's trying to beat Kabu Whoa. for the longest ass competition. Whoa, what the? Uh, thank you for the $100 oh. super chat. Whoa. For bugs. Whoa. Man, uh, oh, I kind of wish you'd. Save that hundred dollars for forty minutes from now, so you could have gotten some sweet merch. Oh no! It's all right. Oh. I believe in them. Well, well thank sweet you very merch, much. you say. Tense my fingers. Yeah, both of you helped me out with this sweet merch. Aloha yeah. should come in and remind me when it's out. You said forty-five minutes. Oh, oh. On the hour. Got it. Okay. Man, I didn't even... the the ability to gain HP and TP at the end of the fight really completely changes the game. It's a little unreal. Yeah. I feel like that should be an automatic thing, but that's just yeah. my opinion. Again, like, I love Bug Fables, but as Danny and I have already played Bug Fables, this really is turning to the Bug Fables QA test stream. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I mean, I love Paper Bug Dev and the whole team. They're they're awesome, and I can't wait for more. Is that their actual name, Paper Bug Dev? No, I think. It, Damn. Hold on, me. So nice to Twitter. see Kabu doing extra damage. <laughs> Whatever. That's not how you spell paper. I'm so good at this. <laughs> I think it's um, Dangan Entertainment and... Like the Ronpa? No. <laughs> no. Hmm. Oh it's, actually Dan yeah, it's actually Dan. It's actually Dangan Ronpa's <laughs> brother. It's like Sprout Games, there it is. It's actually Dangansley. Dangan. Dangans. <laughs> Turn relay. Swap. Get him. Bop him. Boop him. Ooh. Bip him. I'm leaving. Yeah. Show sure, whatever. Got him. Hey chat, who am I? Three buttons. I can't memorize three buttons. All right, look here. <laughs> <laughs> Admiral Zalcoris Van. Thank you for the five dollars, bans you. No, the I, I mentioned this before. <laughs> the problem isn't that it's like just three buttons. It's that. I grew up exclusively on Nintendo consoles, and then as an adult, like, started playing PlayStation consoles for a while. And the Xbox has the same coloration of multiple buttons from other consoles in different spots. So it's, like, specifically designed to trick my memory. Because uh, the... 
the green A button and the uh, red B button are GameCube, but they're switched on the GameCube. So B is to the left and A is to the right. Mm -hmm. And then um, the X, the, the fucking iconic blue X is the bottom button on PlayStation, but it's to the left here. So I've played on, I've played thousands of hours on consoles where the move forward basic input button is two of these buttons and neither of them are the button I'm expecting at every time. It fucks with me nonstop. Let's go down. It is very annoying because I'm the same way. Like, I understand this is a me problem, but like, I, I don't think it's especially unfair of it to be a me problem. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's try up. I can't go up that way. Let's try. Ooh. Oop. Sorry, I don't know what prompt. Just that. don't look at the colors. That. They're on the screen. <laughs> Alright, chat. We don't want to be judged, okay? Please. I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. Just be colorblind, Jello. Do you know how fucking hard my job would be? I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Sure hope that man doesn't hit me with a plank of wood. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I'm really glad they have this generous coyote time on walking off of cliffs with the V para carry mm. carry. Coyote time. <laughs> That's what it's called. Uh, I, I, it took me a second, but I certainly know exactly the phenomenon you're referring to. I've just never heard that term. Look at this fucking secret bean bean in the woods. Super Mario, uh, whatever. <laughs> I scared the ever living fire out of me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this album was used by the very first Aqui when she first arrived in these lands. But now it's full of these weird mask-wearing bugs. What's the deal? What's the deal with airplane food? Oh. I don't want to fight a boss. Is there a boss here? I don't yes. want to do that. It's a... It's a... Oh my god. What are they? A bounty. There it is. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Get out of the way. <laughs> I'm I'm not doing that. Yeah, you can come back for that later. Thank I you. need to... Ugh. I'm trying to focus on the actual main game from main now story. on. Because I gotta finish both of these games by pretty early February. Oh, gosh. Because I'm not, I'm not here, like, all of February. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Ah! Damn it. I wish you didn't have to break the rocks again. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> Gotta speed run Jello. <laughs> you, you're not liking these new strats that we're doing? Oh no. No, we're not doing impressions of Jello chat, please. <laughs> Hmm. That one's pretty accurate, though. <laughs> Bomberman Dares, if you guys heard of Bomberman Dares, check Bomberman by my book, guys. Ah! Oh! Uh oh! No. Uh oh! Pink For lasers! Snail. <laughs> For a snail, that guy's pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it as low as you guys. It makes me so mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as funny when I do it. Well, Danny, uh, do you want to sign up for my voice acting class? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's yeah. really, we got a really focused curriculum. It's just this voice. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Absolutely. Oh, did some damage to me. Hope no one gets me. 
We can't make everyone this way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally faster to attack and do no damage than it is to navigate to the do nothing command. <laughs> I don't think I have a machine that sends those anymore. Alright, I'm going home. Wow, good job, V. Shut up! <laughs> she just... Wow, good job, Randy! <laughs> Randy, why don't you get a bonus damage whenever I get hurt? I don't care about you. <laughs> You're my least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I was here for affection? I am here to oh, act God. as a living symbol of torment for your blue birdie over there. This is worse than losing my family. Mm. I, think, I think we just go to the right. If you go up, that's just the way to get This back. is worse than finding out my family isn't my family because I'm not me. Oh, no. No, you're not I'd rather me. have a fucking existential crisis than talk to you, Randy. <laughs> I'm a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Can you imagine being in fucking Persona 4 and all your friends get like intricate like oh this is what they this is something they struggle with and then you get to you it's like i'm thomas <laughs> <laughs> it's like i don't fucking <laughs> it's just like clearly they had like one minute to make a fake version <laughs> i'd be insulted I won't be able to kill it. Also, do nothing should be a guard. Agreed. Yeah, there's really not any reason. I don't know, I guess maybe you want to not guard on person that has favorite one, so they take one damage instead of zero, and you get, but no, like... It, I think it's it, just if they get attacked, the damage amount doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh. I think. But yes, it, in general principle, I can't really see much reason why you would ever choose to do nothing and not guard. Oh, there's a... That's a nice... That's a nice super chat if someone wants to Ooh. read that. Yeah. Oh, why did he disappear? Uh, DBO, Rack said $100, had an almost 10 hour overtime shift at work, grumble grumble. So a stream of our lovely bug trio is just what I needed to lift my spirit, smiley face. That's Thank actually you. not even the one I was referring to, but that oh. one's also nice. That's the one I just saw. Where did the other one go? Oh, it... here we go. Pack full of crap. <laughs> Pack full of crack, is that it? <laughs> Don't Hello, worry about it. huge fan uh huge fan of all you've done, Jello. G Body's my favorite character in fiction, and I'm working on a cosplay of him. Keep up the awesome work. If you like Giovanni, we got something coming up. <laughs> Ooh. It's Giovanni. <laughs> sure, whatever. It's uh, Giovanni. He's real now. He'll be playing Bug Fables. One second. Oh, I love how those guys look when they're frozen. Just shh. do nothing twice, please. Here I go. Okay. Why is this here? Oh, you're back, hey? Why are you back? I must need to like freeze it or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, etc. Oh, as far as this goes. Oh, all right. All right. I I see. I thought I saw this mushroom 
on this thing. And for, I, I don't know why. I thought the mushroom was a plush pressure plate. <laughs> they had to get the block mm. on top of it. Listen, I don't know what to do. I see a mushroom and I get excited, okay? See a, why see a mushroom. I just want to fucking put something on it, you know? just want to get up there. <clears throat> I'm really worried of taking the wrong road at this point. A secret block. <gasps> A secret. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was not mm. supposed to be that. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, Jesus. All right, I think I'm going to have to take the snail out. Time to take out the snail. Uh, is Jello is actually? That... Go ahead. Oh, good. Oh fuck! So nasty. Is Jello actually playing the um, like the game while this is happening, or is someone else covering it? No, I'm I'm way better at commentating a game if I'm not playing it. That's why the Pokemon Coliseum and such playthroughs, I'm like never, I'm non-stop talking the entire time and Yam is saying almost nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is remarkable how a game that seemingly doesn't actually, like shouldn't take a ton of concentration to play, still it's really, really hard to keep up a running commentary and actually play it as well and as quickly as you otherwise would. It's hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. Let's just do this. It'll be funny. What? <laughs> Why did it do zero that time? I oh, because defense was No, super it, it, high. I guess it went inside of its shell in the middle. <sighs> Won't even do anything. Sure. This should kill it. I mean, I don't, I don't want to overstep. Burgies. I'm now remembering why the enemies, like with these guys and their like three defense or whatever being so dangerous. I'm now remembering one of the many reasons the enemies in the last area of this game are so <laughs> scary. <laughs> oh. Money, money, money. Oh, nice. Loads of money! Um, oh, no. Ah. Got him. <laughs> He's like, oh, gotcha. Oh, my God. What would you guys do without me? Probably die. Probably die, yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So the snail looks like he's his eyes at the top, right? But his the little black mm -hmm. things on the bottom look like arms to me. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> he's just walking around gripping his his rotund little belly. Indigestion. <laughs> Did you fight the big non-boss bug? No, I'm trying to avoid bosses in this game, which is quite difficult. <laughs> yes. At least on hard mode. Uh, the bounties are really difficult. Like, they're hard to fight, but, like, even just, like, not encountering one is pretty difficult. Like, that fucking, the lady who, like, takes over Kabu's brain or whatever, that comes mm. out of nowhere. If you're not ready for that fight, it's so annoying. Yeah, Kali's annoying. I'm not a fan of that fight. What? 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 Um, alright, I'm just gonna assume that my controller was bad there, because I... Obviously did not fumble holding the down button. <laughs> <laughs> Can't keep a good button down. Can you beat Bug Fables if you suck at Bug Fables? <laughs> New gaming challenge. <laughs> How many half A presses oh. are we on so far, Jello, do you reckon? Uh, a lot. Uh, that's the, she's down there, but that's the Ant Queen, and that dome in the back is the Termite Kingdom. She talking. Sorry. 
witness it, my knights, the termite kingdom. Can, it, can you it, witness it? I, it's behind <laughs> a gray thing for me, but I'm pretty sure it should be right there. <laughs> it's just a big rock. Think of that big rock as their hive, V. How do you know anything about the termite kingdom, cop? I know. It's more than close enough. We've just got to go north with haste. With haste. Oh, that, that's the queen. Bug oh, Bagaria cannot wait for us to complete our mission. Are you just, okay, thank you. Goodness, how dare you leave Teleports me. behind you. <laughs> hey, so I, just, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to ruffle any feathers or ruffle any wings, but I did join fourth, so why am I in the fifth slot? Why did I get demoted? <laughs> I think I contribute. I mean, not. Uh, yeah, Randy, you just, you just stay back there. Uh oh. Well. Why is this here? <laughs> why is it yellow? I don't really care about any more hard mode badges. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I <laughs> I got the TP one, and that's what I wanted. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I'm down without you doing hard mode. What was that hideous screech? Oobity wabbity. <laughs> oh, this one did kill me a couple times on hard mode. Just a cute monster. Let us deal with it. What a good old with a good old beat down. Now everyone. Okay. Stand firm and proud, my knights. We are mere steps from our goal. Crush this insolent creature that dares defy our most sacred mission. Have no mercy. That works too. To battle! You know, maybe the balancing factor of that area in the high defense is that you're supposed to have Elizabeth with you and she's got her royal decree ability, but it sure costs like five fucking TP, so like... What does it do? It just ups your attack and defense by like mm. one for two turns, I think. Yeah. And like, that's not bad, but it's like cool ability that costs me two TP every turn. Hey, by the way, shouldn't I just by default have one more attack and defense by this mm. point in the game? Yeah. I remember this guy sucking. I always have V spy because I think she kind of sucks. <laughs> I know you can make her good. I just don't like her builds. Whoa! That's nothing like the Golden Settlement's weevils. It's huge! Gotta watch out for the faints and knock it down before it calls for help. Alright, gotcha. Oh my god. Uh, thanks for the $10 uh, donation. Wait, if Randy was originally Isekai as one of the cordyceps that were used to create Leaf, doesn't that make them at least distantly related? Shut up. <laughs> Mother? <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. Well, I didn't expect to meet you again like this. <laughs> That's not a good idea. They say necessity is the mother of invention. Well, necessity can be your mother too. It's not gonna fucking be me. What? Got him. All right, time hey. to do nothing. That's how I contribute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. The the brick defense thing doesn't stack, and I really wish it did. Hmm. Yeah, do nothing. Sorry. <laughs> Don't want to break the ice. <laughs> oh, flood drop's pretty good. Yeah, I remember it being solid. <clears throat> nice. Like, again, I acknowledge hmm. that V can pretty easily be built to be the strongest character. I just hate that without burning TP, she is useless. I feel you. Hmm, honestly? Yeah, I get him or whatever. <laughs> Do the thing. Uh, will I have enough? Yeah. Ooh, Frigid Coffin doesn't usually work twice in a row. Items, strategies, abilities, hard charge. Hard, 
Hard charge is broken. Um, items, items. Items being blue is so strange to me. Couldn't tell you why. What color should they be? Yellow or red? I don't know. Items are items are a warm elemented color to me. I forgot you have rules. <laughs> <laughs> Standards. Um, I, I, to my recollection, you don't actually have synesthesia per se, but I, I sort of forgot that you do seem to have very strong mental associations between things and abstract colors you find representative of them. Yep. It's like, you know, in school when you had different colored folders. Yeah, and you'll yeah. see those posts yeah. where people are like, what color did you make math? And people will disagree on it. Oh, yeah. I have I that, mean, but for everything. Mm. Mm. I mean, we could all agree science is green, right? Science can be... Yeah, science was green for me. I could also see it as blue. Mm -hmm. I suppose. For me, math was always blue. Yep, same. Same. And... I think, I think language arts was like... Yeah, uh, red, red, red and yellow are are like English and you know history or their close equivalents in some combination. Oh God! Oh geez, he oh. got fucking pissed at you. Don't worry, guys. Randy. Randy's gonna handle this. Randy's gonna <laughs> come in handy. Oh my God! Jiminy Christmas. Don't worry, gang. Marka Marka donated, said, can't always catch these live, but thanks you for all the awesome content. It brings me much comfort and many laughs. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Randy, uh, thank you. Is English being orange controversial? No, that works. In like, language and language arts and art, if you ever needed a binder or something for art, both of those are warm colors to me. So red, orange, or yellow would be acceptable for any of those. None of this matters, but it does bug me. <laughs> oh, it bugs you? <laughs> oh, all right, see you guys next week. <laughs> Queen. Excellent work. The kingdom is within our reach, thanks to your efforts. No problem. Halt. Halt, who goes there? A primal weevil. The new radar is working as the professor hoped. You there! You defeated this beast! You have our thanks! As said before, no problem. You must be soldiers from the Termite Kingdom, or am I wrong? Cross, she's... That's You're the Ent, Queen! You dare tread our borders! Indeed, I bear grave news. Bagaria and your kingdom are at risk of a great calamity. What do we do, Poi? Poi. No one would Poi. cross these lands for a cruel joke. It's not for us to decide. Come on! What if it's really serious? It is! I beg of you, you must let us talk to your rulers. Kabul, you ought to let me do the negotiating. Oops. So shut it. Sorry. All right. At the very least, you saved us the trouble of capturing this beast. We'll meet you back at the gate after delivering the weevil and informing the royal guard. Please wait for us there. You're taking it with you. Nothing shady, I assure you. Just some research. Right. Thank you for your concession. We'll meet you at the entrance. I do warn you, though. The king will not be happy to see you. Nor the queen, so best of luck. <laughs> Went well. As expected, ants are still not welcome in their land. Such is our history. It will be okay. This matter concerns every Bulgarian. Just do your magic queen diplomacy. Let's go. Someone referring to, I assume, the energy of the Termite Kingdom. You hear that heavy metal sound? The symphony of Hades Town. And there it is. I I Ooh. do really like the Termite Kingdom vibe. Oh, absolutely. Was that one me? Whatever. You're here. Good. That one's Aram. Sorry. You're free to go in, but Aunt Queen, I'd suggest you go directly to the castle. It's straight ahead from the plaza. The less people see you, the less fuss there'll be. I understand. We thank you once more. We've had many years of peace. 
Don't make us regret letting you in. To treat a queen in that manner. Jeez. Kabu. I never. <laughs> Team Snakemouth, your job is complete. Thank you for your service. I hope you'll meet me at the table for the negotiations. You don't want some bodyguards while you're in enemy territory? <laughs> see you there, Lisa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, see you there. Did you really just call the Ant Queen Lisa? It's too informal. <laughs> you two gotta learn to relax. Let's look around and catch up. Danny, have you finished Born of Bread yet? How does it compare to Bug Fables? I have not finished it, but uh, it's so far it's pretty fun. I like it. These it's just it's it's a little I want to say uh, maybe a little convoluted with like how you do the battling system and stuff, like for the items you get when you first start out you only have a max of five items which is the stupidest thing in my opinion because you get a lot of items like within that first chapter um and you have to pick and stuff and i'm like this is kind of dumb you couldn't give us 10 items uh and the menu system is a little a little tough to figure out um like how you level up and what like your techniques and weapons you use but I think once I get more into it, I'll understand it better. But it's cute I, so far. The characters are great. I love coming up to this fucking 7-Eleven retail work and being like, we have goods to sell you. Uh, we don't really <laughs> do that, but I guess I can buy some stuff from you, like on a personal level. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dude, you good? No, that's me. He's like, oh no! <laughs> Quirk, 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 quirk. How the fuck did you get here? Oh, hello, I'm traveling. You want to play with us? That's Bug Molly voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Bug Molly. Alright. Bug funk. Bug funk. Oh, a spicy fry. Good lord. What are the fries coming up? <laughs> Sir, we're right here. <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> you ever go to a Wendy's and order just fries? Seems like no. kind of vaguely criminal behavior. What is. What? Hold on. What's it's... this poster doing here? What is this little redheaded goblin? <laughs> Kabu, you said they were isolationist. It's, uh, complicated. You can get in so long as you're not an ant, but it's still a long process. Her idol status could have helped. I don't get politics. Oh, so they're not isolationist. They're isolationist. <laughs> I'll accept it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you're an ant? Oh, I gotta... My my stove is burning. I got Goodbye. a stove in the oven. <laughs> oh, it's a heavy task. <laughs> Team Snake Mouth. You gonna go in? I, I'm a bit nervous. It's not often a queen's the one requesting an audience. If only it was just that. I cannot help but think that if I fail, we are all doomed. Queen. So the report was true. Oh, I'm a different guy, but I know we look <laughs> the same. And sound the same. It's all for convenience. It's an Officer Jenny Nurse Joy situation going on. To think someone like you would come here. Our royals will now grace you. Don't pull anything funny. Let's go. I'm the <laughs> jester. Uh, yeah, I'll be the little guy, and Aram, you can be the queen. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my lovely. The guards just handed me a most jolly report. <laughs> oh, is that so? What is it, dear? They said a visitor that will surprise us has arrived. They should be here soon. What the hot fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dear, it really is. You! How dare you walk into my hall and break the moon's long separation of our people! 
Your eminences. That is King Hector the... One, two, four, three, fourth, and Queen <laughs> Laria, the one, two, second for you, and my, <laughs> my apologies, King Hector. Hector the fourth, not Hector. Dear, watch yourself. You'll faint from disgust. What is your business? What? I won't mince words nor play around the issue. The Ant Kingdom has been raided by the Wasps. My people have been hurt, and the artifacts of old have been taken. The artifacts? Oh, so you did find them after so much struggle. And then you incompetently lost them. Indeed. The Wasp King holds power I never witnessed. I have never witnessed. Even my loyal knights, V, Kabu, and Leaf, had a hard time with the Wasp King. He holds power I had never witnessed until the time I witnessed it right before I then witnessed it again. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it is my honor. <laughs> Threw away that marking of yours about fucking time. <laughs> He was injured in the attack. Was he? <laughs> yeah, he was <laughs> injured in the attack. Such a varied team. Seems just about anyone can get into Bulgaria nowadays. What's that supposed to mean? V, you've got to shut it this once. What's it to us, then? You ruled poorly and you got your trinket stolen. You presume we should worry? As if our great defenses would be felled by some wasps. This dome of ours has survived storms without a single scratch. You truly think so? That the Wasp King, who found the magic of flame, and will soon obtain the full power of the everlasting sapling, shall be of no threat to you? Flame, you say? That sapling is a darn myth that drove your mother insane! Uh, how many moon, more moons we could have had with her if she hadn't been so obsessed? It is not a myth! Watch your tone, Ant! We found the mask, the tablet, and the key. Or were those myths as well? The king is heading towards the giant's lair, an area none dare to tread. He would lead a crazed army towards such a place based on simple hearsay? Open your eyes! You think I would travel the wasteland personally and bear brunt to your crass tone? If all of Bulgaria wasn't facing a great peril, you'd think of me so pathetically. I accepted and respected our treaty after our negotiations turned sour. I am not asking you to change your mind in that regard. But if you care for your people, you won't turn a blind eye to the danger heading our way. Dear, calm yourself. You're being blinded by the past. Oh, you can't truly mean she swayed you. Hmm. Ants are unrefined in many ways. They cannot match our intellect either. But they do not yield under pressure and work very hard. It is nature's way. I know you speak the truth, Queen Elizant II. Laria, oh, you always were too soft. And you, too stubborn. That's why I am by your side. What would you ask of us? Although it would be for the best for our nations to try and reconcile, right now what we need is a way to head towards the giant's lair. A way to cross the sea. Dear, weren't the scientists... You mean that? You trust them with that? Oh, it's missing just a few touches. It'd be a fun test ride. <laughs> Will you help us then in protecting Bulgaria? I'm not convinced. Dear. You say your knights lost to that puny wasp? You think our soldiers wouldn't match up? I wish for proof of the enemy's strength. I, we do not think I, you'd wish for their visit upon your kingdom. I have also, some proof of their strength, though. What's the proof of their strength? Jello, it's time. It's time. <gasps> it's, oh. time. Yeah. it's time. It's time. It's time. See you guys next week. Uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's going live on our channel, and Aloha's probably gonna pin it to the top of this yeah, chat. But when I get the links to look good, but yeah. The spicy links. So uh, we got some Giovanni and Molly epithet erased figurines that are available Woo! now. Uh, and everyone's doing the makeshift doll thing now, but very few people are doing the makeshift figurine thing. I think we're literally like the third or fourth people who have ever done it. So uh, buy our figures. They look oh, really God. good. 
Yeah, sorry, I'm fucking up the link, but that's fine. It's there. Wow, Bye. wow. <laughs> Oh um, my god. So that's that link has both the Molly and the Giovanni in it. If you get both of them, I believe you get 10% off or something like that. Uh, and if you're a patron or a Kickstarter backer, then you can check those services for a secret code that gets you 15% off, even if you buy only one. Uh, Ooh! Also... There's a funny little video that Aram and Danny both voice in promoting it that's on the main channel. So you can watch that. Hooray! The Molly Link It Broken. Yeah, yeah, YouTube sucks. Uh, I'm trying to get the uh, link. I, I posted the singular links, now I'm going to try to... Because this is kind of thing, if I can't space them out properly... Yeah, just, just post uh, one. They'll be able to find the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that still needs some time to be completed. Before then, I would have you participate in our ancient tradition. We call it the Glitz Pit. <laughs> yes! A.K.A. the Coliseum. <laughs> you would have us fight for sport? That's my type of diplomacy. We... Shut uh, up! Shh, shh, come. If, our, if your people best are brave warriors, then we might be in a real pickle. Your knights will face off in glorious combat, and then I shall decide. You won't let me join them? I would like for you and I to discuss some other matters as the fight goes on, if you don't mind. Leave it to us, my queen. We'll do well. Mm-hmm. They'll see we're not joking around. It's been a while since a public smackdown. You will find the Colosseum around the residential district of our kingdom. Do not dally! Your kingdom is against the clock, after all. We'll start the ceremony shortly after you arrive. I hope you can provide a good show. It's the most I've Bet. ever seen Aloha struggle. <laughs> 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 I'm trying so hard. Thank you, Aloha. Uh, my apologies, Team Snake Mouth, but I will be counting on you. Do not fail. You can count on us, Your Majesty. Let's go to the Coliseum. But first, let's steal their trinket from right in front of their fucking eyes. Shh, it's fine, don't worry about it. Death. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, League of Legends, death. <laughs> that was perfect. I love that comic. Your Honor, League of Legends, death. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's my favorite Aww. character. Take her. She's so cute. <gasps> Nero, why have you wandered so far from me? Coming of age, rights be darned, but what will I do if something happens to you? She's a baby. <gasps> She's a firefly. I love, I love me the a firefly. firefly. They're cute. Oh. Why are you guys... <laughs> You guys doing our patented slow walk? Mm. I shall join you. <laughs> uh, me when I'm uh, when I'm going through the airport and I don't really feel like walking quickly. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Me, except there's someone exceedingly slow in slow. front of me. Yeah. Ugh. Slow Ugh. walkers. Or the person going on the opposite side. Be, be glad you're not, like, a super tall person, because being able to see over slow walkers and see the open road you are being mm. denied in front of you, it's like an extra level of unacceptable frustration. Yeah, but at your size, you can just pick the slow walkers up and shove them aside. Oh, if only. If only I was allowed my birthright. Mm. <laughs> the, uh, in, in Seattle... I would have a decent length walk home after getting off the bus from work, and um, I came to despise two specific kinds of people who could be ahead of me on the sidewalk, and one was my old nemesis, Slow Walkers. Um, but the other very specific kind of person is person walking exactly the same speed of, uh, as me, uh, puffing on a cigarette and leaving a trail mm. like a fucking smoke screen behind them the whole way that I have to exist in. Why does the larger jello not simply consume the slow walker? <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. 
I want to order so many of them. You have Kinda... the secret code. <gasps> they are they are cute. They're, they're effing adorable. I just she's holding a teddy bear. And I um I would like every time a new book comes out to release two more so there's like <gasps> yeah. collectible set. So I really want to do Sylvie and his sheep because I feel like they're Please. like at least one sheep. Obviously, I can't do all of them. Uh, mm -hmm. But like when the next when the museum arc book comes out, like I feel like the obvious pair would be Mara and Indus. But I think I'd rather just do Sylvie and a sheep because Mara and Indus get to do more stuff as protagonists later on. Uh, then probably I'll see if I can swing all three because people. People really like Zora, but like I feel like it'd be weird to do like Percy and Zora or Ramsey and Zora and miss the other protagonist, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and then probably Feeny and Trixie. Yes. Are you gonna ever make a, a sheep stuffed animal kind of? I don't. I'm not planning on it. Cause that would be really, really cute. Gun to your head. Make it now. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> Great Pokemon ass looking through the floors in a building. Okay, can I. So there's. <laughs> I, I misread this as Hello there. Have you ever heard of these creatures called siblings? <laughs> <laughs> Ordering I was five. I was real. I was checking out the video really quick. Just. Oh, thank you for the fifty dollars. Oh man. I, I always, like, I feel so bad to just be given money when I can give you something in exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Molly. Bye, Jello's Molly. Bye, Jello's Molly and Geo. I'm a maniac. Maniac. Abu, <laughs> what the heck are you doing? I'm a maniac. <laughs> I bet you're a fucking uh, boss fight randomly. I'm not going to do that. No, I'll wait. Not. I'll wait till later to watch the whole promo because I don't want to uh, be. I don't want to miss lines. But uh, I did watch the first fifteen seconds just to see which take of Giovanni is dead. <laughs> your your ending take of the the wow at the end is fucking incredible. <laughs> oh, sad, sad bugs. Hey. It's another snail guy. Hey, it's coming. You guys just chilling? Around for ten minutes at the time. Yar, I be a pirate. <laughs> When's the epithet erased art book going to be public? I mean, it is public. You can get it on my Patreon. That's public. It's accessible. I. It's too long and took way too much work to offer it for free. Mm. Publishing is hard. It cost, like, I mean, it took me, like, weeks of gathering and organizing stuff. And I, the graphic designer I hired for layout, uh, th that was, like, I think it cost, like, five or six thousand dollars. So, yeah, I'm, conf I'm confident just being like, yep, if you were a Kickstarter backer, you get it for free. Everyone else can get it. We're everywhere. So are you two, Jesus. <laughs> hey, do you Why guys... I... Oh, there is. Oh, right, you guys Sorry. don't store items. What do you do here? Where's Ooh. the lady with the backpack? The ant? Ants aren't allowed here. Oh, that's right. Oof. I'm, Oof. Af I'm afraid it's too racist. Our friend can't stay. Hmm. Mm, you're the Ant Kingdom Knights. A bit scrawny, out of shape. Excuse me. Hey, look, me. buddy. Excuse 
My eyeballs are gone. It's whatever. <laughs> Everyone's looking forward to a new challenger. You ready to go? You'll do three straight fights when you're in. Alright, please cross through the left door. I placed a bet on you for kicks and giggles, so good luck. You know, it's actually called sh and Sorry. <laughs> if I give you some berries, can you bet higher and pay me later? Uh, it's actually gonna make the same joke. I do not believe that is the phrase. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually called squits and giggles in this world. <laughs> no. Oh, dang what? it. It's actually called spits and pimples. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> spits and pimples is my favorite, like, bulk and skull duo. <laughs> spits and pimples. <laughs> My dear workers, scientists, termites of every kind, today is a battle unlike those you're used to seeing. The honor of our kingdom is on the line. These foreign knights claim they can best our best of the very best. Oh, I just realized this is the part of the game you were playing when you were playing this originally and I very briefly watched. Oh. Oh. And what better way to test that claim then with the ancient tradition of our ancestors, a good old public fisticuff. Do you think these little Hollow Knight night guys in the front here who carry the queen are wearing masks, or is that just what they look like? I think that's I think what, that's they, what look they, like. they look like. Let's go, let's go. We have invented How? the gamer. <laughs> <laughs> How many rounds will they get through, I wonder? Who do you bet on, chat? <laughs> Let's get some pogs in the Colosseum going. <laughs> Without further ado, let's begin. From the left gate, V the bee, Kabu the beetle, and Leaf the moth. Team Snake Mouth. What's and, and, up, bitches? Yeah, no, maybe there was someone else there you wanted to introduce. Save the best for last. All right, okay. We should have picked another name. Didn't expect us to get famous. It fits us perfectly. Focus on the battle. <laughs> we'll do awesome like always. Now, from the right gate, let's warm up our visitors, shall we? They shall face fierce beasts from the Forbidden Lands. A fucking pumpkin and one of those weird drooling guys. Now, battle! Are you guys sentient? Did you consent to be here? We are slaves! <laughs> Man, Danny, really, really ready to laugh at slavery. Jeez. No! No! no I'm gonna get canceled! No! Canceled for bug fables. <laughs> oh, God. I'm poissoned. I don't know if Leaf should even be able to get poissoned, to be honest. Poissoned. Poissoned. Whatever. Die again. This actually should be enough. All right, here Got we go. him. They didn't introduce me because I'm the secret weapon. Here I go. Do you think Leaf will stay in front for the next battle or it's gonna reset? Uh, I... Does it does it normally keep whoever's in front in front after a battle? Know. Leave. I think it'll go back. Right. Child's play. Woo! Pog, let's fucking go. Let's go. We're so back. <laughs> Child's play indeed. It's time for our second act. You will now face Cross and Poi, the bravest of our border guards. Not that it's What's easy up, to everyone? tell. Well, it's nice to see you again. What's up, everyone? We won't go easy on you. Give it your all. Let's go. <laughs> it was your trust that got us this far. We will honor you with a good fight. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, these guys, these guys are all right. Mm -hmm. They're pretty reasonable. They let us in. Let's kill them. Yeah, it's fine. Whoa, that's a nice crossbow. Maybe I should try some new weapons sometime. I do think that would benefit you, yeah. Facts. Tough bite, too. I can't give him a chance to use all his attacks. What am I gonna do? Oh, no. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Mm -hmm. 
Jesus. Oof. I wasn't expecting him to be able to vom so much poison, I gotta be honest. Yeah. Oh, because his name's Poi, like poison. Or apologize, Poi. We know you're just doing your job. Everyone, watch out for his sword and cannon. We must fight with a- Watch out for his sword and cannon. Blech, blech, blech. <laughs> I- Whoa, I was not ready for that. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Mm. It's fine. Gotcha. Dang, y'all are buying this figurines. Yeah? Yeah, it's like, hold on. I'm refreshing the page. Yeah, 52 sold for uh, Molly right and now. 59 already. for Giovanni. Man, people just like Giovanni more. <gasps> That's actually not true. Molly's the most popular <laughs> yeah. character. What do you mean? <laughs> Weaponizable sorrow Dude. voice. Do you want Danny to cry? No. Buy more Molly <laughs> figures now. <laughs> oh, man. You could really manipulate some people. With I them. could, and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I do occasionally end ads with shit like that where it's like, Please be nice to me. Like, like sometimes Molly just. I think the description on the back of Molly's box for this thing, because they come in a box, is like, oh, she, she's got her little bear, and like, she hugs this bear really tight whenever she's anxious, which is always. Be sure to get a friend for her so she's not lonely. Like fucking <laughs> psychological <laughs> manipulation to buy the Giovanni. Jeez. Incredible. Please forgive us for having to beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in good sport. I liked it. Let me point. No way. Holy shit. Let's go. Hi, YouTube. This is a clip. <laughs> hmm. So you have some skill. Oh, my. Dear Poi and Cross are not easily beat. Whatever. You're not claiming victory so easily. Now you will face a captured creature that instills fear in the most hardened veteran. Oh, you'll... Are you sure? Unleash the primal weevil! Remember him! <laughs> <laughs> From 20 gotta minutes get, ago! Gotta get our usage out of those boss fights. Let's leave. Oh. Oh. He, uh... He doesn't know, huh? We gotta beat it again? Uh, this is um, month, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no. What a dull show, don't you all think? My dear public deserves better. So much better. That voice is that. Jeez. Yo, we're getting raided. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's me. You're one. You're only. The most loved in the termite kingdom. Motiva, let's go. <laughs> let's fucking go. Chat's full uh, of pogs. Oh, it's Motiva. Oh, her voice is as smooth as ever. What's up? <laughs> yeah, one I would love one guy in the audience. Ooh, Zasp. <laughs> I love that guy. Mm. <laughs> what are you... That's not my voice. What are you mm. doing here? No way we'd let you steal any queen's graces. When I heard you were coming, I just had to crash this party. <laughs> what do you gain from making this harder for us? Yeah, we're on the same team. This show is to prove the enemy's strength, but also your strength, Team Snake Mouth. If we defeat you, we'll show we're superior to you. And then the queen's gonna have to tag us along. This is ridiculous. You realized you could be dooming us all. What if the Termite Kingdom loses trust in the queen? What if you lose to the Wasp King without our help? Have you gone completely, utterly insane? Have you lost all intelligence? <laughs> Kabu's like, I've had fucking enough <laughs> of these guys. Uh, yikes, you're overthinking this way too much. The Ant Kingdom's way better in our hands than with you losers. We have saved your life before, you witch! <laughs> I said we'd never speak of that again! Zasp, you've helped us many times. Can't you talk some sense into her? Don't misunderstand. I'm not doing this only for Mathiva. 
Although it's a pretty big reason. Uh, I want the primal evil back. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up and fight, you cowards! Let's get the crowd wild and cheering! Moth Eva! Team Snake, Team Mouth. snake Mouth! <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Anything to see Moth Eva perform. How serendipitous. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> I just got my copy of Epithet Erase. Thank you for, um, actually, Sylvia, Sylvie Doodle. <laughs> That's funny. The fight starts now. They're pretty beefy. Okay. Oh, oh there goes Aloha, I assume. Bye. I'm surprised he stuck around that long, to be honest. You want to take out Zasp first, right? Because he gets mad if you attack Mathiva. I forget. Yes, but she will tr she will revive him when she gets a chance. Right. Okay. Let's do. Okay. Heck yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> How dare you make a sound, Dan? I just bought the book, so I mean, uh, I bought the uh, figurines. I was, I I was going to say, Danny, I had a million books I could have given you. <laughs> no, I'm supporting. <laughs> Thank I you. buy his book. I buy his book. I buy the book. Okay. Uh, um, understood. Okay. I bought seven of them. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this game is so much easier in not <laughs> hard mode. Like, I know, obviously, but yeah. like... Wow, when you're not There's playing a John on... Madden for you. See, the game's much easier when you're not in hard mode. I forget, do any of you guys want a blue sky code? I don't have one, but also I don't really want to do more social media. Me neither. I just, I'm... uh, I just semi-officially ended my Twitter because years ago I was like, when I get to um, 45k I'm going to fucking just stop tweeting because I know I'm going to get cancelled for something stupid like when Lindsay Ellis was like, hey this one Disney movie is a lot like Avatar because it fucking was and then everyone was like, you're racist oh my god And she was like, all right, I'm done doing this. And I was like, good for you. I'm so sorry this happened. Ugh. That's exactly The counterpart to oof. Ugh. 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 Items. Let's just eat a soup. Yeah, of all the potential Twitter replacements, Blue Sky is the one I'm rooting for because Threads is owned by Facebook and... Um, uh, that's pretty much the only other thing that's, like, trying to go for Twitter specifically. I'm sure as hell not moving to, like, Instagram or TikTok or anything. Mm. But I, I do kind of hope, if, if everyone can coalesce around, well, actually, Mastodon would also be fine, but Mastodon's not really set up for mass media. Anyway, I'm perfectly content for any other thing to come and uh, eat Twitter's lunch to the point that it dies almost completely aside from the bots and Nazi trolls. Um, but uh, it hasn't happened yet, so uh, can't go anywhere just yet, unfortunately. Uh, Jello, when is this gonna ship out? I didn't see it. The, the figurines, I have no idea yeah. with makeshift. Sometimes it's like two or three. It usually takes a little while, though. They like. I meant, when are you going to ship out for military <laughs> service? Tomorrow, I'm sorry, gang. Okay, I was just wondering, because I might have a different address Ah. by the time, so I'll just have to make sure I... Oh, it says June. Okay, cool. Thank you, Aloha. Yeah, I probably should. Well, I will figure out. So. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. It's like how I had to, uh, the last time for the Kickstarter for the Glow in the Dark dolls, I had to send them to fucking Aram's house because I bought $10,000 worth mm. of dolls to send out to people. And I was uh -huh. like, well, I don't live there anymore, so I need that to be an address that it gets delivered to. Ha ha hoo hee hee. Mm, yeah, I trust you won't die if we do this. 
This should be enough. Do it. Do it. Um, Do it. Yeah. Item. Uh, honeyed leaf. That's me. Because I'm sweet. Delicious. Honeyed leaf. Joke. <laughs> Joke activate. Seriously, Zaz? Oh my god, get up. Fucked idiot. Oh my god. Bro, whatever. <laughs> Seriously, that? Seriously, that? Yeah. The bad my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that? You're gonna fucking die? Get out of the ice cube. I'm gonna get them with my music note that does no damage. <laughs> it's because I keep perfect blocking. Um, I guess I'll fucking get him. Get. Got him. Ugh. That really does look like it should be accompanied by it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be the new idol. Chomp. Uh. Here, no steal. Doubt. Yeah. Why am I going to be gone in February? Because I'm traveling twice. Despite how much I hate <clears throat> doing that. <clears throat> Eva. Oh, is this enough for you? Come on, just drop it. I'm not even tired yet. You better give up. <clears throat> fine, fine. Whatever. I give up. You win. Are you happy now? I concede. Team Snake Mouth, today you're better than us. Oh, what a pathetic end. Bye, Team Snake Mouth. <laughs> what an incredible battle. Bulgaria holds so much strength. I mean, <laughs> not a bad showing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dear. Thank you, everyone. We are we are all the best, aren't we? Make sure you come to my next show. You'll even get closer to me. Team Snake Mouth, fun yes, with Eva. <laughs> Whoops, get the, guess there's a new hot band in town. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they're cheering for you. Justice is quite popular with the crowd. <laughs> Maybe termites just have awful taste. Ah! Moth Eva, you'll always have your true fans. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> God, what a simp. She's not gonna fuck you, bro. This is a parasocial relationship. <laughs> what? Why do girls only want asshole guys who don't care about them? <laughs> Why do guys only want bitchy bimbos who fuck all over them? Why do guys only want bitchy bimbos, yet I can't get laid? <laughs> God. Oh, come on, everybody, say my name one more time. Hey, come on, leave! <laughs> this is embarrassing. This concludes today's battle. <laughs> Team Snakemouth, please bring us back at the Royal Chamber. Theatrics aside, there are serious things to discuss. You fought well. We shall see you there. While they were fighting, the Wasp King came back to the Ant Kingdom a third time to invade it. You're a stupid crowd. We'll go on ahead. What do you mean? Ahead where? To the to the meeting? <laughs> no weird tricks. Just shut up. I don't want to hear you ever again. Ugh! Bye. Poor you. I hate them. I feel <laughs> so tired, but we did it. No time for the inn. Let's get going to the palace. I love Kabu being like, what is your damage? <laughs> yes. Are you, we saved your life, you witch! That that was the best. That's the best line on the entire game. <laughs> he says what we were all thinking, like this. Uh uh. You witch. 
Uh, oh, solo living came out. Okay. Okay, I guess I gotta post that too. Have you lost all intelligence? What are we? Ah! Why, 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 why? What the fuck? <laughs> ah! Fuck! God! The hell? What are you doing? Are you, you okay? Are you I'm sorry. Okay? I, I got up to turn on a light. And I got a mega static shock from uh, from like the light switch, and then I sat back down and got one from the fucking base of my monitor. Superhero static I have shock. Superhero Ooh. static shock. Sorry, I had to. But no, I am in incredible pain. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, it's one of those. Looks like this is a hostel. I could never do that. The idea of like bunking with strangers anywhere scares the shit out of me. Yeah, I know. I uh, I went to Japan some years ago, and when I was trying to in, in advance like look up things to do while I was there, I was like, hmm, I want maybe I should uh, if I go out to like Kyoto, maybe I should try and spend a night at like a a, a traditional Japanese inn. And then I read more about the experience, and I was like, hmm. This looks interesting. And then I thought about it and I was like, wait, every single part of this I would hate. Why did I think this was a good idea? <laughs> Sleeping in a room with like 20 other people on a mat. Oh my god. Just give me a fucking regular ass hotel room any day. If I'm gonna do those, I'll do them off stream. The Wasp King has invaded the Termite Kingdom. Oh! Don't worry, we've got at least like five days before he actually comes back to do it for real. <laughs> Third time's the charm! <laughs> Even though I succeeded the first two times. God, so dumb. Team Snake though. I've heard of your exploits. Just because the third time is the charm doesn't mean the first and second times weren't also the charm. Sorry. <laughs> oh yes, that's what we're here for. Whatever it was you were saying that I talked over. <laughs> Currently in continental Europe, the epithet of uh, a race book costs 50 euros from some kind of shady reseller. Hope Amazon starts selling it. You can get it off of Amazon, but I don't know if Amazon's storefronts, I assume they're different in different countries but it's available on the US version of Amazon. It says it's a pre-order, it isn't. They're lying. My publisher is so weird. Oh, sweetie, you've got to get over it. <laughs> I'll start then. We acknowledge your plight. The Termite Kingdom stands to lose much over this issue. Our finest engineers have been working on a prototype vehicle. It is able to operate and travel under the water. It should be just what you need. We call it the Subaquatic Maritime Neotransport. We're very proud of it. Um, I like to call it Submarine for short. Submarine! <laughs> <laughs> I thank both of you from the bottom of our, my heart. Our people will be able to fight back now. Uh, so it goes under the water? What if it breaks? It's impossible for it to sink. It's our most advanced machine. Uh, yes, but what if it does? Kabu, shut the hell up. It shall not. On my name. Please don't think with such cynicism. All right, then. Very reassuring. Oh, come on, Leaf. If we started to drown, I'm sure you'd go, I've been practicing and turn into a giant <laughs> fish made of ice or something. <laughs> Uh, it's stationed at the pier in the rightmost part of the city. Our head of research should be there to explain how it functions. Excellent. We shall draw it to the outskirt pier to make sure everything is in order. And Queen Elizant. Yeah. If you'll have them, please let some of our people travel with you. They are eager to see your land. You will cease the separation? I can't handle this. Only for now. A small step. We'll purchase a bit of land, see how things go. Queen Laria, King Hector the Fourth, I... 
I am very grateful for everything. We are in your eternal debt. I know. You better repay it when the time comes. Or else... <laughs> she will. Our queen is honest and honorable. Thank you, Leaf. To have earned your backing is most pleasing. Please, go and make haste. You smell. I want you out of here. And protect Bulgaria. Don't make me regret any of this. We're counting on you, after all. I shall go ahead and check on the submarine. Uh, please meet me at the pier whenever you are ready. Oh my god, I almost threw up. <laughs> make haste! Make, make haste! There he goes. All right, that's much better. No, 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 stop. I dropped something. Hang on. To oh. clarify, when I said stop, I meant you should stop deliberately going slow, not that you should stop moving. Oh, it was actually in my pocket. I didn't drop anything. <laughs> well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's Go! Oh! <laughs> You could do that the whole time! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yay! I'm so angry. No! Oh, God. Oh, yeah, the... Big pimpin's going Oh, to... wow. Bulgaria should be the perfect place to expand my business. <laughs> <laughs> Time is money. Did you see that guy with the top hat? <laughs> you see that, uh... You see that river over there? Points to the opposite shore. I've got friends on the other side. <laughs> this can be a... Yeah, actually, Danny, you haven't been a nerdy scientist type yet. <clears throat> you arrived. Uh, behold, our subaquatic maritime neo transport. Looks like a pokeball. <gasps> it's like a pokeball, for better or worse. It can truly travel under the tides. Give it a whirl. You'll have the time of your life. Bugs have never been able to travel this way. Nothing's happened bad recently on a famous submarine. <laughs> 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 Okay, I'm gonna trust it. I can finally go get the everlasting sapling. And beat up the king, too! This long journey is nearing its end. But we must, we must not rest until we're victorious. Go here. Here. It's a bit too early to rally. Let's head to the outskirts pier. We must pick up our reinforcements. Oh, it's, it's a very intuitive tech. You can move as you usually would. Just dive with B when there's danger, just in case. Let's give it a whirl, then. Time's running <laughs> out. I'm hip with the kids. Oh, boy. Yay! We're on a ship, guys. Or a submarine. I love their, like, oh, you can dive with B, but on this controller it's X, just to confuse mm. me. So, yeah, you can... I forgot, do you fight these guys? Yeah. I feel like we should show off one. Lily pads! I love, I love pond skippers. I think they're so cute. They are. Do they like stand up to get out of the way of your attack? How do these guys work? I they, will yeah, talk they stretch. to them. Leaf never gets to do this because I'm always using him for something useful. Floating on water? Is this some sort of magic we could learn as well? Its water projectiles are quite strong, but our icefall should be a nice counterattack, as it is against everything. That's true. Sorry, guys, I got scared. <laughs> ah! Oh, uh. it, in roll twenty, when you try and fail to, you you try to move a token and it stretches. Hmm. Yeah. Oh God. Ding. Cool. Say Kaide. 
Sweet claws this... above. Oh, okay. That's a secret. That's a secret. A secret. I do think this is very cute that they add this. Okay, that's the termite. I'm trying to figure out which way is north. Oh, okay. Interesting. Are you in a pool? I think it's just a pond. Aram, you want to be the same oh, sorry. simp? <laughs> sure. Uh, f wait. Oh, shit. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your Majesty, you have returned. Indeed. That was an experience like no other. I'm glad we've all made it. Same. It was surprisingly sturdy. So this is Begaria. It's greener than I've heard of. The sunlight is so warm. Too warm, though. And the breeze is so heavenly. It, <laughs> it is my pleasure to welcome you to our land. What's our next step, then? I will escort our allies to the city as part of our deal. Wedge, was it? Uh, yes, Queen. I trust the royals have briefed you on your task. Yeah, I'll try to fix the sunken ship. I uh, guess I'll sightsee later. Team Snake Mouth. Ready to go! You are to take the subaquatic. Sub the submarine and head towards Rubber Prison immediately. By ourselves? When the ship is fixed, we'll send reinforcements. But we're at risk of being sunk again. We have no time anyway. Please, wreck as much havoc as you can. Clear a path for us. Very well. My horn's eager to eaw to those rascals. Uh, yes. Deliver as much justice as possible. <laughs> I have a small gift for you. Hey, that's what you should have been giving us at the start of the game. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yahoo! <laughs> I believe this Yippee! will help you gather a black. <laughs> Oh, that was a really good impression. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was dead on. That's it's Dan more than enough. Thanks. D Danny's superpower is to recreate meme sound bites <laughs> perfectly. We're at the crux of this long chapter of history. Spare no dime in your preparations. Leave it to us. Together we'll triumph. I'm all fired. Oh, I'm all fired up too. I'll start work right away. We're all counting on you. Good luck, my friends. Look at this little guy. Oh, so they good. sunk me fucking boat. <laughs> I'm gonna. What is the fastest way? Nah, I guess there's not a good way. Nope. Pop. Yeah. Gonna go to Metal Island. This is Rubber Prison. Um, gonna go to the the Il is land so that I can uh, get a couple more items. Then I'll go to the Rubber Prison. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? What does that mean? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, can I buy item? You've got interesting wings. Interest wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't know there was a recipe guy. Oof. Oof. I'm a snoozy little floozy right now. Get up and go walk around for a minute. I, I'm just going to go restock items. Ah. What are you floating to the heavens? To... <laughs> ah. The 2D paper style reminds me of gotcha games. That's a funny thing to say.
Hopf vom Start mehr drängen, das soll von deinen Quests. Okay, das ist das Das war mein Attempt at that Butterfly Guy. Oh, hello, Casino. No thanks, those are never good. This is a portmanteau that's like good enough that I'm surprised it's not a Pokemon name. Uh, I just saw a username named Chespionage. Oh, Hachimachi. Okay, man. I'm I'm here for cooking. Hey, man. I just I I don't remember what the first thing I did was. Okay, honey, drop leaf. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you ask a couple questions, chat, while we do boring shit? Like play bug fables. <laughs> hey chat. Uh for those who play Paper Mario, who's your favorite uh partner? And why is it Vivian? <laughs> Am I wrong? From each game. I wanna mm. know. Vivian, Yoshi. You did not play Paper Mario. Well, what the heck are you doing? Stop watching this stream and go play! Excuse me! How dare you if not? If you haven't played Paper Mario, you're not allowed to watch this stream. <laughs> That's like, I don't make the rules. I just, you know, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> See, Jello. As long as I'm here, you know that your chat, your, your chat is going to be filled only with a higher class of individual, a Paper Mario connoisseur exclusive experience. I'm gonna be a hundred hundo p honest. I have not heard a single word you guys have said. I've just been focused on <laughs> maxing my items. I figured you're in that that zone. I'm trying to do the boring shit as fast as possible. Oh, I got you. You since you got some dark cherries, do you want to use that with like um a miracle seed? Uh That's a miracle shake. I think that revives you for everything. I think. Do they sell them at the little they sell them at the the, at the scrumbo. The... Yes, <laughs> that husband and wife. Yeah, that's the scr. Uh, that's obviously the scrumbo. We're all on the same yeah. page. Yeah. Okay. Good. What's this? That's oh, just a TP <gasps> thing. Um. Do it. Can you? No, I don't. I don't need that. I've got like three of those. You do? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Th I those are just the those are just the HP plus badges that like you can. Ex exchange three badge points for three HP. But like... Oh, I thought there's... that was the TP one. I mean, it is TP, but like, it's the oh. same thing. It's essentially just uh. giving up three of your metal points. Like, there's not really a reason to do it. Mm. I do think they should have let you up. You're, you're sure about this dark cherry thing? I think, I believe so. Where's your dark cherries? Oh, I put them, I, I gave them to that girl. Yeah, save before you do it, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me look at bug tables. I've only played Origami King. Oh no. Go play the first two. Origami King. What, what, what is that? It's a Paper Mario game. Oh, I've literally never heard of that. I wonder why. I've heard of, I mean, I know the real Paper Mario's and Sticker Star and that's it. Or Paper Jam, I guess also. Yeah, there's three, oh, yeah, yeah. there's three from the new era. Ah. Paper Jam, Colors, Splashes. Oh, or yeah. Thinking. Or Sticker Star, Sticker Stars. 
Yeah. Well, what? The, wait. Uh, what's Origami Star King then? It's Paper Mario and the Origami King. It's the newest one. It's Origami. Oh. Okay. Um. I don't understand. Magic Seeds are cherry. Yes. I don't understand where they got the idea that paper is what made those games good. Like, yeah. that's what they should hone in on as being, like, that's what this was about from I mean, the beginning. It's Nintendo. They just don't care. If they can market something for nostalgia that doesn't need to be good. I mean, that's why all of the Pokemon games are the way they are. <laughs> I'm going to check if this guy, uh, the downstairs guy, has any new good medals. The downstairs guy. That's what my like weird conservative aunt calls the devil. <laughs> Is this defense? It's pretty good. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, this is a uh, this is one of the good berries. That's one of the things that makes V really good. Uh, yeah, yeah. That she should just learn by default. I love that it's like, oh, check out her needle ability that costs four TP and does two damage. And it's like, wow, thanks. That's awesome, man. Yes. Uh, and hey, chat. Um, if you guys some friends who aren't subscribed to Jello Plays Games, uh, they're very close to 100k. Uh, it'd be great if you helped out and told some friends to come subscribe. So Aloha can get that beautiful YouTube play button. Yeah. That'd be great. Personally, I've been waiting for the Thousand Year Door remake. Managed to get lucky over the years and not get any spoilers. I <gasps> Yay! I don't know how I feel about that remake. Because that's like one of those games that it like... I definitely think Thousand Year Door could be improved mechanically by tweaking oh, a couple yeah. of the chapters for sure. And its battle system is the best one in any base Paper Mario game. So, like, good. But I'm afraid it's, like, just going to be a graphical update. And, like, what's the point of that, you know? Like... I I honestly think they're trying to... This is, like, a... Not a test, but to kind of see how popular it'll sell. To see if it'll... They'll, it'll possibly get them to go back to the do it the way it used to be which is so funny because like we've been bitching for 15 years for them to mm. do that and like it's not it's not a quiet or unpopular opinion to be like please just make another thousand year door mm -hmm. so like i guess i'm glad it's being remade but i'd kind of rather they just spent their time on like a straight port and then use that dev time to just make a sequel, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> like, honestly, I wouldn't be mad even if they just made it the, what, Luigi's and the Marvelous Compass or whatever? Yeah, that, I would, oh, I would love story. that. That would be funny, just because I just love that, that side thing that he did. It's good, yeah. It would, someone made a webcomic that's just telling that. I think it's actually really? the Super Mario Broth guy. Really? Oh, yeah. Hold on. I don't. To Google. I saw it like two years ago, and I he had like just started it at the time. Someone says go to the Bee Kingdom and get. Who do I talk to for the bow? Uh, I think the professor. Uh. Yeah, but like you know, I just. I think Thousand Year Door still looks amazing. I still think it's like probably the best looking Mario game period, if I'm being honest. I love its art mm -hmm. style. And like, you know, they did remakes of the Mario and Luigi games and they're all ugly now. And it's like, <laughs> what was the point of that? It looked nice before. Yeah. I don't know. It's like they focus too much on the paper part. Yeah, it's very weird. Because the whole paper thing wasn't even meant to be a, a thing. In the beehive, it'll be sold. Oh, where you got the bee souvenir for that one, um... There it is, yeah. Oh, yeah, there. This is what I'm looking for. Da, da, da. You got a pretty ribbon! Now you can put it on Randy! What do I do with it? How do I equip? 
Uh, do you have to put on in battle? <clears throat> is it a metal? No. Go to the lab. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, you gotta talk to you gotta talk to yeah. Do I have to have her like in the thing? Yeah. Dumb. Nap nap. Now you gotta talk to uh talk to the thing again. Yeah. Give with it. The game is cute. Now I'm a beautiful bell. <laughs> I'm a beautiful baby. Oh, we gotta get rid of this thing. Destroy. <laughs> Destroy. <laughs> this is my eggs. <laughs> this is my <laughs> salmon row. <laughs> God. This is my egg sona. Hmm. Puss in Boots characters. The first one. No one's gonna get that joke. Puss nobody, in Boots? Nobody watched the first Puss in Boots movie. Oh, no. The, the last wish, though, was beautiful. All right, there's some there's some sweaty egg lips knowers in here. <laughs> it was. There's some there's some lip flavored gentleman knowers in here. Oh God! Jesus Isn't that one with the Humpty Dumpty egg guy? Yeah. In that movie, oh! Yo, boy. check out, check out this lady. Hey yo. Hey yo. I'm curious boom, where. Boom, 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 boom. Where are we going? I'm. Uh, there's a that far west chunk of the far grasslands I haven't been to. Oh yeah. I just, I just wanted to see um, where this led out in case. There's a guy somewhere near here who, like... Yes, and you fight him, so you probably want to save. No, I was thinking of the guy who... There's a guy who has, like, bad books, and he's got the last one, so I wanted to see if I could grab that, but... Oh, you're talking about the wizard? Yeah, he's, like, a wizard or something. I think I have to go through the grasslands in a different route and loop back through here, so mm -hmm. I don't want to do that right now. You can do that off-camera? Go south. Digging south is fine. I'm already here. I don't want to go back. <laughs> mm. Island. My stupid hot take about the new Puss in Boots movie is that um, it's like obviously really pretty, mm -hmm. but I think it's just a tech demo for Shrek Five, where they were like, "All right, we're gonna we're gonna do a bunch of things that they were doing in." Um, Spider-Verse, which, good. Everyone's doing that now. They should. Uh, mm -hmm. But, like, even though the first Puss in Boots movie isn't good, I like that it has this Western vibe, and it's got, real. It's got like, weirdly interesting cinematography. Like, it changes the frame of the, the video sometimes to, like, mm -hmm. evoke... Old, in, in the way that old Westerns used to do it. And I'm like, this is a really cool artistic choice. And this new movie, I'm like, this is Spider-Verse. This is Spider-Verse, and, like, mm. I think a lot of the movies that evoke Spider-Verse... I'm going to finish this thought first. Like, um, Mitchell's vs. the Machines, which is by the same studio, is very spiders verse -y. But also, like, it incorporates a lot of internet visuals because the main character makes films and puts them online. So, it like, they explore her films without ever showing them through the visual style. Because it's like, this is how she visual edits. And it's like, that's an artistic choice. But I feel like if I asked the Viz Dev team of Puss in Boots and The Last Wish. Hey guys, what's the artistic decision behind this? They'd go, uh, Spider-Verse, and there's no further thought, which is not like a terrible thing, but it would disappoint me as their college art professor. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm, I see what you mean. Anyway. Me personally, I I still, I mean, I, I liked it. Um, it's a good movie. I, yeah, like the thing is that personally didn't bother me. Like yeah, I was yeah, like, no, oh, no one's like no one's gonna care, obviously. That's... Yeah, but if that's the direction where most of the movies are going, I'm okay with it. It'll just kind of suck if there are so if there are just all of them are like that from now on. My... That's where I'll have a problem with it. 
my my biggest actual critique of the last wish is that they make death the villain and he's like one of the best animated villains ever made and then they've got this whole like coterie of like seven other antagonists like we don't need these guys gang you got this really good villain and then like that's fine except then they do the final battle with death after fighting jack horner and then Death is like, fuck it, you win, and leaves. And then Jack Horner comes back and he's like, I'm giant now! And it's like, hey gang, the movie ended <laughs> two <laughs> scenes ago. And like, that scene is crazy. But Big Jack Horner was so good. dis a fucking gree baby. <laughs> I don't know. Really, I, John, well, John Mulaney, ugh. But like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's still funny. Yeah. Um. Jack Horner just felt like a shoe in I agree. Because of a bad guy, but he was funny. I, I, he wasn't, in my opinion, he wasn't in there too much to be annoying. I was like, okay, this is funny. This is just dumb. I, I wish, like, Jack, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish is like, it's like three great one episode concepts for a TV show all put into one movie where death mm -hmm. should have been a movie villain and was. And then... You get like the Goldilocks stuff and the instant Goldilocks pops up, I'm like, oh, this is kind of fun to make him a crime family. And she says like one thing in the first scene where it's like, yeah, I'm like kind of part of this family. I'm like, okay, so she wants her family back and that's gonna be her wish and she's gonna get there and she's gonna go, oh, the bears are my new family. And then that mm -hmm. happens beat for beat, exactly. I'm like, that's fine. It shouldn't be a third of the movie. Like this is this is like a eleven minute episode plot, and I don't really care about it. Even though I love mm -hmm. these character designs, and Jack Horner is like a great one episode or one scene wonder kind of villain. Like he would have been such a good act one villain, but then he sticks around, and I'm like, oh, you're like the main bad guy. Weird. I don't know. I. It's a fine movie. It's fine. I'm. I feel like it got a lot of presence online to a strange degree where like it's good, but there's like a lot of really good animated movies that have come out in the last year. And I was like, man, people are really loving The Last Wish and being like, it's so mature that it tackles these death themes. And I'm like, I, I know I watch more animated shit than most of you guys, but I feel like you're very behind the curve. It's just very strange to me. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Yay. We made it! Sorry, I trust the termites, <laughs> but I'm glad to leave the submarine. Your fears aside, could you tell us a bit more about the rubber prison? It's new to us. Oh, I know this one! It's the prison where they put all the bad guys. Things got that bad after Elizabeth went to sleep. So it seems. It's quite a secure facility, yes? The wasps taking it over is quite troublesome, wasps. Meh! We'll just snoop around and beat them up. It's what we do! Huh. That's a good plan, unless we meet the king and he'll kill us again, because we haven't meaningfully improved since then. Let's go, team! Let's go! We must clear the way for the others. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Ah! Well... <laughs> and so their journey ended there. <laughs> Your bones populate the Mojave. <laughs> mm. Ron Perlman. Gotta make sure I patrol this area. Make sure nobody gets past and break those rocks. And they're still there. Okay, good. Oh, uh, okay, good. That that guy's not making any progress. What the fuck? <laughs> we snuck by perfectly. Anyway, we <laughs> plunged to our deaths. Your bones. Yeah. Oh. Ah. All right. Well, looks like those guys died after they moved the rocks. Wait a second. <laughs> oh yeah, this part. Where'd the rocks go? Ah, Weird. Got it. <laughs> I was hoping I could just walk past it. Uh oh. Any movies I would recommend? Uh, I really liked Mitchell's vs. the Machines. I thought it was really was good. good. Um. I think that's the only movie I've ever watched with Keen that I liked more than Keen. <laughs> mm. It's it's rare I'm the person who was like, that was great, and someone else is like, it was fine. <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is what it feels like. Cool. <laughs> uh, 
Um, Sword of the Stranger, Yam showed me. That's pretty cool if you like things that are like Princess Mononoke energy. How? Humph. How far into this game are we? I'd say 80%. Yeah, we're almost there. I think there's only one dungeon area after this one. Oh, the scale we won. Yeah. So, like, if I set up before endgame, I could probably finish it in the next sitting, which would be good. Okay. Which should like... be next Saturday? Hopefully. I feel like I watched something else really recently that I thought was really good, and it's not coming to me. Oh, no, I just watched Millennium Actress, which was okay. What about Grave of the Fireflies? It's such a bad time. It's like, it's a great movie. Like, it's a great art piece. It's just a terrible experience. Like all of Isao Takahata's films. It's like the one, you, the movie you can watch once in your life and never watch it again. Just because it's that sad. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad I didn't upgrade HP. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. It's like you don't know when you're gonna get that bonus, unless you look it up. But, haha! -ha. I haven't. I seen am in Boy jail in forever. Yet. Never mind. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Oh, right, here's the map. You just gotta follow these things. Oh, hope I get to hit someone with my big drills. Oh, there better oh. not be a. Oh, Jesus! What the fuck? <laughs> I will say, I like the wasps' designs in this game. They look really cool and scary. Yeah, I like them. Have I seen The Breadwinner? No, I haven't, but I did see, um... I did watch Wolf Walkers. I love Wolf Walkers. My fucking... I say this every time, because, like, I can't really formulate why I like this movie so much, but... Oh, see ya. I... After watching that movie, my first thought was, oh, I kind of wish I had a daughter to show this to. <laughs> it's cool. It looks so good, too. Have I watched Memories? Uh, yeah. Sound Cadence dubbed part of it, actually. I got to audition for it. Did not make it, which is good. There was no one I should have voiced in that. Mm. Memories has one good short. Um, I, you know, I've actually never seen the third short of Memories. Uh, I watched them in college. It's like, it's basically three short films made by different studios, and they're, like, just radically different. It's an anthology. And, um, the first one, Magnetic Rose, is really cool. And then the second one, oh, Stink yeah. Bomb, is fucking awful. It's like a guy accidentally swallows some, like, stinky juice that makes him stink real bad. And, like, it kills anyone within several feet of him, and he doesn't know what's going on. So it's, like, just the military trying to stop him, and it sucks. It's just not good at all. I saw Magnetic Rose on and off as it played on a TV in the background while I was playing magic cards at a store called Anime Pavilion. That's the entire anecdote. Um, where else can I go? Hell. Also, I love this fucking Forsaken Fortress-ass music. Yeah. Um. Guys. Mm, there must be a card somewhere. Yeah. I mean, that that's just a shortcut so you don't have to walk the long way, so... It's gotta be something in this little stretch, right? Yeah, you'd think. I'm so stupid. Read the sign. The other sign? Is there another sign? Yeah. So, all right. 
Hey, I've won a lot of card games. Perhaps this will change your mind. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to interpret this here. This, uh, the, the poster. I mean, I feel like I need to get in, right? We're, we're the yellow spot, I believe. Um. Yeah, that looks like a UR here. It's the explorer's permit. Oh. Okay. What was the point of that? Like, why bother? <laughs> Listen, Phoenix, sometimes you do have to show your badge. Hmm. This guy's just chilling out. Oh, that's clever. But not clever enough. Gotcha. Fuck. I love that V is just like, yeah, fine, I'll do this, whatever. N yeah, I'll just try now. I think I just gotta take this guy out. Oh shit, oh shit. Took 30 minutes to figure that out. I think that's fair, I I would, oh, he fucking going. <laughs> Remember, Jello, you gotta switch to keyboard controls for one menu in the final dungeon because it's broken on controller. That, do you want to talk about that? That is some of the most insane shit I've ever seen. What's really insane is I am confident that didn't happen the first time. It didn't I played happen the to game. me either. I like I would absolutely have remembered that. So, sure, you know I will talk about it. It's not a long story, but. Um, Jello and I have played a series of games called the Trails series, which you may have seen one or both of us play, and or you may recall from uh, Jello's So This Is Basically Trails of Cold Steel, which is about a game in that franchise. So one of the first uh, little sub-series in that series is called Trails in the Sky, and it ends with a final dungeon, as so many JRPGs do, that yeah, is you... a... Real quick, just for a visual, yeah. if any of you watched us play Skies of Arcadia, uh, they stole Skies of Arcadia's final dungeon, made it eight times as long and way worse. <laughs> um, yeah, visually it is strikingly similar, yes, to the final uh, area of Skies. It's pretty similar but, um, conceptually too, but yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a sky island with ancient civilization technology on it that was basically sealed in another dimension after that civilization fell to ruin. It's not super important, but the point is we're in this crazy future place. And so it's got it's got some unusual mechanics at different points. You're you're going around on basically a high speed monorail tram thing. Um and at one point in order to advance forward, you have to input, like, a code into this thing, which is not something you really have to do anywhere else in the game. And we we had the object that, like, we had found the thing you have to find in order to open this door. And I went to the thing, and I couldn't figure out how to interact with it. Like, I would bring up the menu, it didn't actually let me do anything. And I was like, I guess this isn't the item that I need. Like, did I miss something else? And I spent about, and we were streaming this, remember? So I, I spent about 45 minutes of stream time initially being like, oh, I must've just missed a thing and backtracking a because, bit. Because for the record, it is very easy in that final dungeon to have not gone one way. And like, there's like, there's a fast travel within the dungeon, which is never a thing you should need. Never a good sign. And uh, it's very <laughs> possible you didn't set up that fast travel. That's what I did the first time I played it. So I had to walk back every time. And even on turbo that takes forever. And I was yeah. like, man. So I was like, oh, we probably missed something because it's very easy to miss something. So I backtrack. And I'm like, I know, I think I've been here. I think I've been here. I backtrack further. 
I'm checking all the ways to make sure I didn't, like, not go down a side thing. I start getting out, um, maps of the dungeon on game FAQs and comparing them to what I'm seeing on the screen. I think I ended up backtracking all the way to the start of the dungeon. When I got to the starting screen, I was like, well, um... And then I went all the way back to the console because I was like, all right, what's the next most likely explanation? Uh, I didn't do what, what, like, I didn't use the item or something. Like, I, I somehow fucked up and thought I didn't have it, but I do have it. So I walk all the way back to this door. Ha, huh, nice fuck up, Randy. Um, <laughs> and I go and talk to the thing again. And I'm like, no, it definitely, I can't, like, this is not letting me in. Like, I definitely can't go through here. And I wander around for a while. Long. I'm, like, checking the guide again. Um, I'm starting to get, you know, kind of flustered because I didn't expect, to ha didn't expect to have this much trouble and we're on a stream. And I know that not only is this, like, you know, it doesn't make me look very competent and also it's not good TV to walk back and forth. And, you know, all the time I'm running into random encounters and shit. So, like, it's really getting agonizingly drawn out. And then I want to, I think, I don't know if I stumbled on it by accident or if I, like, found a Steam forum post or something. But I, I somehow figure out... After a solid 45 minutes of wasted yeah, time. Yeah, it was a Steam forum post, I remember. We had was it? Yeah. Because I started digging for it, too. And, like, so did Austin, because we were all, like, literally, yeah, no, we what were are all... we supposed to do? Yeah, and so it turned out that in the Steam PC release of this game, uh, for some reason, this one menu in the entire game was, like, broken for controller. You couldn't, like, I was basically, I had four parts of, like, a password, and I was supposed to be able to put them in, but I couldn't, like, pick anything, and when I hit the button, it would just be, like, it would just submit and be, like, oh, that's the wrong password. And apparently, that was just because it's broken on controller. So I, like, I tentatively hit the down arrow key on my keyboard, and suddenly the menu is working, and I can input it, and I was... But to borrow Will's phrase, I was living it. <laughs> Just absolutely in in shock that this had happened because there hadn't been any other problems like that. And I had already played the game once on PC with the controller. Do not at all remember having that problem. And I was... We were all justifiably really mad at the game over that. God. Yeah, and it's it's rough to be so close to the end there too, right? Like Yeah, no, that was I think that was the penultimate stream too. It was like. rough. Uh and you can someone asked where you can watch those. They're on Surprise Round RPG. So they're a little hard to navigate to because Twitch would be like that. They are in a collection, though, on the, the channel. Not that that helps you, uh, too much, honestly. It doesn't help that much, but yeah, if you go to twitch.tv slash surprise round RPG, uh, all one word, there's a collection for Trails in the Sky and the subsequent uh, Trails from Zero and Trails to Azure streams. That's me, Jello, uh, Austin, and uh, Mo. Mo. They're, they're pretty good. I'm I think we did a great job on the um the crossbell game specifically mm. cuz that's where you like figured out the strat for um save scumming save, save teleporting which yeah. I then stole for the sky stream and I like I wish I could do it for this game I would kill to be able to do that it would be so helpful Sorry I'm just I'm just wandering around Um yeah, no, but it was a uh, it was kind of uniquely terrible. <laughs> uniquely <laughs> terrible. Uniquely terrible. Someone also asked, "What are my thoughts on how to train your dragon?" The first two are fucking incredible, and the third one is probably the angriest I've ever seen Amy mm. in any piece of media. Uh, it is a really terrible finale. I God, I forgot until you used the phrase just now. 
uh, uh, that as I was going through Prison of Plastic, uh, besides the uh, dough you threw in a sun, the other one that got me was your working of the phrase, my financial skills have been described by my stockbroker as uniquely terrible. That's true. Yeah, I did put that in there. That's an Aram one. What were you, you, Aaron was describing my ability to, uh... Your ability to, to keep a secret under your hat if it relates to, like, something you're making for your friends. Yeah, my own work, I am so ready to be like, let me tell you all of the spoilers about it. Uh, but, like, it's funny because, like, I never tell anyone anything if I think it might upset, a nut, like, a third party. So I can keep secrets unless they're mine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, nice little shimmy there. Is this guy just hanging out? My sentence is over in two days. No way I'm escaping now. Get. Good for him. So. I'm slightly confused about one thing in the lore for this place. So the when they were like, oh yeah, it's a prison for the worst bugs, the leaf said like, oh things have really gotten that bad under Elizant, uh, like Elizant the second, which implies that at least Leaf's assumption is that this prison is administered by the Ant Kingdom. But if that's the case, why is it out the fuck over here where we can't get to it without a submarine we I, got from our historic enemies? I think he just said, um, he just said, wow, things have gotten that bad, like, in general. Oh, okay. Um, and, like, oh, geez. So, I guess this structure has probably been there since he was around the first time, but it must have gotten turned into a prison recently. Do they ever state whose prison it is? No, that's a good point. Um, I assume it's just a general prison for all of Bulgaria. Like, they just have one, and they're like, fuck these guys in particular. Bread! Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, it's dry. Uh, I guess I'll eat that. It gives a little TP. How? Um, How you doing, Danny? A pensive alm. Oh, Coming. Did I think Unicorn Tales was going to be good when I downloaded it? No. When will someone fix the Tokyo <laughs> Bridge? Me posting random complaints on the walls. Mm. Have I heard of a game called Moonlighter? No. I love this. Have I heard of a game called Cigarette Lighter? I love the jacks Ow. as a uh, big mm. war caltrops. Yeah. What are those called? Jacks. No, like in real life. What are those bi the big versions called that you see on like war oh. beaches? Oh, Tank yeah. I don't think they're. I don't think they're caltrops. I actually don't. Yeah, I don't know what the term for those know. is. Barricades is what Chet's saying. I mean, they are barricades, but they, do they not like have their own special name? Wave breakers. Giant jacks. Wave Race 64? Wave Race! That scared the crap out of me mm. as a kid when it booted up. Classic the very games, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Wave Race. <laughs> the very first uh, uh, GeoCities website I ever made as a wee bab was uh, was about games and obviously was you know, never found or read by any human other than me. Yet I, uh, I had a, like, game of the week, which I updated maybe three times for the first three weeks before I lost interested. And, uh, I think the first one I put on there was Wave Race 64, a game I had never played because I wanted to look like I had a wide repertoire. That's such, like, a 13-year-old thing to do. I yeah. love that. Oh, yeah, I totally played it. I was definitely younger than 13, but yes. When I was, was a little kid and um, fucking DDR Mario Mix came out, I was really excited for it, and I don't know why. <laughs> and mm. So, like, I just... Some friends were like, oh, you hear about that game? And I was like, yeah, 
I'm so excited. And just in my excitement, I started like making up hypothetical things about it that could be really cool. And I was like, I heard this. And it was just like a complete lie. Mm. And then like a week later I got it and it was like fine. It was like a mid DDR game. And I came back and I was like, it wasn't that good. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just imagine you coming back with your head held low, like you you're owning up to a really really heinous lie. Like it wasn't that good. Which canceled movie or show do I wish actually got made? Um, I don't know if this was ever in actual production, but I would have really liked to see a Sly Cooper TV show. Those old video games about stealth. I guess metal points, right? I don't really need anything. I don't like these guys. Yeah, this they're... bitch has a key. <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. Bonk. Stop that. Just good Randy singing, Jackson. Randy. See, Thank you said you, you couldn't do Randy, but not only can you do Randy, you can do Randy while singing. <laughs> Danny said she couldn't do Randy, but she's lying like I did when talking about DDR Mario Max. <laughs> Canceled for DDR Mario opinions. No! This is such a strange way to attack with a drill. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> This is such a strange way to attack someone's credibility. <laughs> DDR Mario opinions. Gosh. I guess I might as well since we've... Wow, you'll never guess what I'm about to use. I'm gonna try out a new one. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, I wanted him not to guard. I do like that the wasps get their own theme. Heck yeah. Aram, what is the voice acting job you are the proudest of doing? Obviously oh. his uh, narration role in our newest uh, advertisement, which you can watch on my main channel. Yeah. Buy the figures. Damn, this guy is going fucking ape <laughs> I mean, it is a bunch of boxes full of bombs, so I do understand why he's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> um... Mm. The one that I am the proudest of. Hmm. I need to. I need to legitimately search my feelings for a moment. Search mm. your feelings. You know it to be true. No. Yeah. Hmm. It cannot be. Yeah. Whatever. Never a bad time to just ice rain a bunch of jerks. Take this and this. Take this. I think. I, I'm not sure of even necessarily the exact role, but I feel in in the cockles of my heart, I think that the answer general case, at least, has to be probably something that I have been in made by a, a friend where they have, you know, like, paid me a compliment of, like, that that my performance elevated the thing that they were making. So, like, I feel that probably applies to... It's a funny first one to bring up, but, like, maybe one or two bits of um, Bacano Abridged. <laughs> From way back in the day. Yeah, you, um, you did do a lot better than I did at that point. And, oh, man. No, oh, Sugar Cube. Sugar Cube is entire... You know what Sugar Cube is? That's a fucking... That's a fucking us on a stream bit, except it was written out. Except we just did it for it's, real. It's got the same energy as fucking Randy. Yeah, pretty much. We should eat Sugar Cubes. No! You sure? Yes! Because, uh, sounds like a pretty good plan to me. The audio is glitching. Uh, uh oh. It, well, everything's fine on my end. Y'all try to refresh. I. 
I cannot... I cannot do anything about that. Everything is fine on my end. I, uh, I still sometimes quote bits of that to myself. In particular, if I, when I, like, decide on a thing I'm gonna do, I'll sometimes mutter, hmm, sounds like a pretty good plan to me. Hey, gang, who's... Who designed this prison? Whose thought was this? <laughs> Whose um, idea? I I have to give um props to Silent Hill because like I I have such a passion for urban dungeoneering and specifically making a dungeon that makes sense as a dungeon, but also and more importantly makes sense as a physically lived in space. Mm. And like I find that like I love I love urban dungeons, but I find even the ones I like often don't do that just because that's how it be. Yeah. Um. But it's yeah. an extra level of effort required to do that, and most people won't appreciate it. So mm -hmm. I can understand why. Yeah. But yeah, no, I think um, I think in terms of what makes me proudest, it probably has more to do with my relationship to the person making the work and and what they tell me about it, or what like close friends whose opinions I respect tell me about it much more so than how many people saw this or like did did the did a bunch of random people really like my performance in this which is great like I love being told by a bunch of random people that they liked me in something but uh it, it's yeah the the chicken soup for the soul is definitely hearing from someone involved that they really appreciated the work that I did yeah I think um, the the first thing I would think of Yam, in terms of like Yam oh, says ahead. Yam says Atticus. Ah, hmm. no, yeah, you're nah. you're very good as Atticus. Actually, that yo know, yeah, actually that's kind of in the same that's kind of in the same zone. I I didn't know Amy much at all back when we were like playing and you know when Windrose was like first being streamed, or not not streamed, but like when the episodes were first being aired. Um. And uh, so one of the first points of like interaction directly that I ever had with Amy was like Oz mentioning that Amy like really liked Atticus or or had like been very emotionally touched by something I did with him. And I was like, oh, that meant a lot. I think the closest thing I have from my professional roles because of, of course, you know, the chance if I'm doing something in the professional world, it's much less likely that it's by a personal friend of mine. Um, so I think, I think the closest thing in the professional world would be, um, it, last year I was in an anime called Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts. And that was my first major like main cast recurring role. And my character had a focus episode, which ironically I didn't actually have many lines in because it was heavily flashback based. So it was mostly uh, a different actress playing the child version of my character, but I still found it very touching because I watched the performance and it was very, very clear that the actor and the director had both like, put in more than the baseline amount of effort to making that performance convincingly sound like a younger version of my performance and oh, like mannerisms fun. and some and some vocal qualities and I was like that's really flattering that you you cared enough to do that Jesus. Oh damn he going to kick you twice I love how they stand they're like they're like bashful they're like oh don't look at me don't, no, just, just, just look at my ball and chain. I'm gonna get you. Anyway, I'm gonna kick you. Then I kick him. Yeah. And just, and and so that I'm actually giving credit where it's due, the uh, the director for that is uh, uh, Jonathan Rigg and the actress in question playing my, my baby form was uh, Jade Saxton. <laughs> Jade's good. Jade plays uh, Jade Saxon, most famous for playing Rubid in the pizza game. <laughs> the advertisement. Does she? Yeah, right? <laughs> awesome. That was one of the weirdest sessions I've ever directed because I was like, hi, so here's this. Um, 
You've never met me before. Because <laughs> that was... Wait. Oh. Hey, gang. It's the weirdest fucking script you've ever seen. Oh, oh a sphere. You have to go so far to trigger the next room. And just kick it. This is valuable government equipment. We can't just... Just kick it. We can't just give it an E-yaw. E-yaw. Yeah. Well, it actually worked! Oh, sorry. Whatever. Let's see what we can do with this terminal. <laughs> Why do you toggle the positions of the cafeteria tables? Why do you have a control for that? Look, some <laughs> things are more important than some, some things. things are more important than being <laughs> able to eat. And one of those things is raising the roof. Library, good luck. Where do I work out? Uh, the library. <laughs> I guess I don't really yeah. need D for this. Dang it. Hey, get down from there! Damn, if only I had access to the controls that lower the library hmm. tables! <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh, this is serious! I'm gonna get fired! <laughs> what? I'm gonna lose my job! Hey. Dang it. I just pictured you crouched like a cat saying that. <laughs> yeah, also, aw, oh, come on. Also, um, I, so I didn't, I touched it up, but I did not do the animation for the um, figurine ad that just came out. Uh, so when I like plugged it into After Effects to, you know, change some lip flaps mm. and stuff, I did get the reaction I always have seeing Molly animated, which is, like, I <laughs> I always forget how cute she is. Baby. Oh, I do every time I see a Molly in the wild say, oh, A baby! Out loud. <laughs> it's funny, because when I hear, like, A baby! I just think of Marissa. Oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> it's a baby. The oh. way they say it just makes me very comfortable. I'm like, oh... <laughs> It's just like an audible hug. Get him! Die! Fuck! <laughs> Don't worry, here I come. Got him. <laughs> I think I think one of my favorite moments from the Bug Fables playthrough that we had previously, what, um, when Randy was first introduced, when I think one of them had one HP left. And I think it. I think now it I know what you're terrible. thinking. Yeah. That... <laughs> so this is Danny. I love you as Chise in the Ancient Magus Bride. Oh, thank you, Mo Monle. Monle, thank you so much. Monle. <laughs> <laughs> My brother in Christ, is... she's technically your daughter. I didn't design. Like, I guess I designed Molly, but like her final design was Rhea, so that was not me. So I still get the right to go. Mm. Hey, a baby. Danny, I love you as Molly blind deaf. All right, Flair. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I gotta Thank find some guys. fucking books. Must be some sort of order we're missing. Oh, we're gonna have to read them. <laughs> buy his book. Buy the book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like weird. These books they buy. His and book. Book. Weird. Am I wrong? Was she not good as Molly? No, Danny's great as Molly. And then whenever I have Danny do some small lines for Molly, she's like, I love Molly. I'm going to do it for free. I'm like, okay, I'll pay <laughs> you, though. No. No. I That's, love Molly. I hate working on advertisements, but they do give me the opportunity to, like, say hi to actors I haven't talked with in years. So, like, Sandra yeah. and Kyle I never get to work with, so... Oh yeah, um, 
when I was at Crunchyroll doing, uh, I was actually recording a bit part for, uh, for Danny, I, uh, was there, like, right after Kyle Ignacy, and, uh, uh, we, before we started my session, we went over to the break room, managed to catch him before he went home, and, uh, it was, we had just both recorded our bits for that ad, so we got to talk about that, which was nice, because it was my first time meeting Kyle, and I was very relieved to have a natural conversation point instead of just, you're Kyle Ignacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I bet he, I bet he doesn't get, oh, you're Kyle Ignacy a lot. Cause nobody ever fucking casts Kyle Ignacy Aww. in anything. Cause they're <laughs> fools. <laughs> uh, I Yam and I on our ongoing opening anime project, we were, very excited that actually the opening for Rust Eater Bisco, which I believe Kyle is the main character in. Uh, I remember, yeah, I didn't see the show, but I vaguely remember the auditions. He certainly looks like a Kyle flavored boy. I hope I'm not making that up. I would feel pretty stupid. Um, no, I think, think you're correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he deserves so much. Kyle's so really much good. More. I, wish, I, I wish a lot of things. I'll say that. I just wish a lot of things. Mm -hmm. okay, oh! This... Oh! <laughs> this is interesting. I actually don't know how to fix this. Can't you just hit it? So if I... I guess I haven't gone to the right yet. Um, If I hit it here, which I shouldn't have just done from this angle. Oh, shoot. Um, then the door far left is up. Like, you can fly. That doesn't really help. He is Bisco. Yeah, uh, that made that passed our like good anime opening test that we're doing. Mm. I also had to watch all sixty. I don't fucking trust that for a millisecond. No, you can walk on it. It doesn't. It doesn't break yet. What do you mean yet? What's gonna happen? Don't worry about it. No, I. Oh, now I'm Wait a minute. It's drawn on an animation cell. <laughs> this is a really complicated sequence. Yeah, they did a they did a really complicated sequence here. Ow. No. Oh, okay. He wasted you that. You can dig? Okay. Yeah, he's been digging. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> so aggressively small. <laughs> Why is everyone doing bits where they're like, Danny, I loved you as thing Danny didn't play? <laughs> I, know, I don't know, but I hope this doesn't get me in trouble. <laughs> Get in trouble. Shit! <laughs> Ding. Uh, I love doing the acting, but I'm having a lot of fun directing recently, so it's just like, yay! Directing's fun as hell. It is. Have you... I keep doing this every single time. Have you ever gotten... Um, I just got to do something with... Um, Molly Zhang, who works, who currently does stuff at Sound Cadence. Have you ever worked with mm -hmm. Molly? She's. Uh, uh, I have. Yes, I think I think a couple times for for some wall and bits. Okay. She's really sweet. And really I nice. I love Molly. She's she's got the same energy that I do as a director, where it's like, oh, we can make this really stupid. Actually, hang on, let's do something dumber, <laughs> which I yeah. really appreciate. And I got to play a shit heel in something recently. And we were like, okay, mm -hmm. let's do this. And we did it. And oh, just like horror. It was one of those sessions where like the reaction that made the director and uh, go, oh, was the one that always got selected. And I was like, all right, <laughs> we're doing it. Yes. Yeah, I've only been uh, directed by her for uh, Walla on Prince of Tennis. Um, but I have I have worked in and around her on a couple other things. Like uh, her her character and mine are a Team Rocket duo in um, the Fruit of Evolution season two. Although, yeah. in in a cosmic injustice, so the first like five episodes of that season, we we had scenes together that were really short and were basically just that's right we exist. Oh, we're gonna do something. Oh, we're walking to the place where we're gonna do something. We're still walking. Oh, we're almost here. And then uh, the sixth episode, we like actually suddenly are like fighting the main cast and have a bunch of screen time. And um, 
Molly got sick and had to no. be voice doubled after five episodes of build up. That sucks terribly. Mm. That sucks. <laughs> I hate him terribly. I hate him terribly. Their names are Lufa, Dufa, and Fubi. I hate them terribly. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Sounds like a Chris Fleming bit. <laughs> it does, actually. It's Jenny Nicholson. Ew. All right, just because Kabu will go down if he doesn't eat something, so. Baby, eat something. He doesn't have life stealer, so he's in, like, oh, a right. modicum of danger of dying now. But can you stop? Stop! I'm having a hard time gauging the amount of damage these guys do. It seems very different every single time. Because, like, I know they can charge, but I guess also, depending on which character they hit, they each have different, like, blocking rules. Ding. Yeah. Which Jenny Nicholson video? That's the um, Land Before Time one. You leveled up. Damn, we went through, like, four levels. Yeah, I'm really, episode. really going through these. Um... Have I ever thought of doing a real-time fan dub? No. Uh, first of all, that's just Snapcube's thing, so I don't want to steal her thing. But also, uh, I can't stand crosstalk or people talking over each other, and a real-time fan dub is just, that's just going to happen. Mm -hmm. So it would drive me cuckoo bananas, so I wouldn't want to do it. People have also been like, oh, like Salty DK Dan does these friend lock things where his friends control the Pokemon, and I bet your crew would be good for that. And it's like, yeah, but we're good for everything because we're hilarious. Mm. So, like, <laughs> I, I don't like doing things other people have done. I, I like doing my own thing. Okay. Yeah, because you don't want to seem like a, like a copycat, which I'm sure you're not trying to be, but it's like, you know, yeah. it, people have their own thing, and it, sometimes it works for... It, it works better for those people who are doing it. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Do you enjoy the air you breathe? No, I live in Los Angeles. <laughs> There's an air quality warning literally every day. Really? Yeah. Oh, are you... When are you... When do you leave in February? Um... Is it later, like, towards the end? I'm, I'm gone around, like, the 11th onwards, pretty much. Uh, okay, then I may be able to see you before then. Okay, let me know. I'll be in there uh, the first week <laughs> of February. I'll be in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, heavy throw. Heavy oh. throw is pretty good. I like heavy throw. What does it do? It's it's just a. a I think it does plus one, and I think it decreases defense. Hmm. Electric Needles would actually be pretty useful, because then V has a status she can inflict. Yes. And also, if... Berserker's pretty fun, too. Let me look at, um... Nope. Trying to look at my fucking items. Okay. Do you need one more? I don't know. Maybe. I don't Let's see. I'm just gonna put them all down randomly. Yeah, okay, I need one more. I need the blue need one. Need a blue one. Danny, do you like cute things? You seem like you'd like some sort of J fashion or plushies. Uh, nah. I hate cute things. <laughs> Famous it's hater of terrible. cute. Terrible. Hate, <laughs> hate cute things. Every moment of playing V has been agony. <laughs> oh, God. Just want to come in, voice her like, yeah, you know what, fuck it. From now on, this is, V sounds like this. <laughs> hey, everybody, this is Mark Plyer. Hey, everybody, oh, this is V Plyer. No, I, I have a whole bunch of plushies that are in the corner because I don't have any more room for them right now until we can hopefully move, and I'll have a whole room to put them. Fuck! Uh, Take a shot every time Danny giggles. Why do you want to kill us? Yeah, please, no. What did we do to you? 
You don't want this. Mm, okay, that's not gonna work either. So. So excited to see Danny and Farfetched. I am as well when that finally happens. Yeah! They posted an update video. Yeah, so what I think. I, how do I get over there? This is confusing as well. Uh. What's the gang's opinions on the Owl House? Season 1 is kind of mid, and then Season 2 is like Avatar The Last Airbender level good. It's ridiculous. I, I need I to get back to that. I I got a bit into Season 1 and stopped. Then I went back and managed to finish Season 1 and started Season 2. And ironically, considering what you just said, then I fell off again. But I liked where it was going. Uh, yes! Mm, okay, I... Generally, those shows, for me, and I'm sure I'm not alone in this as an adult viewer, those shows live and die by the, the quantity and the intrusiveness of episodes that are fundamentally about, like, teaching a lesson for kids. Yeah, there's a great, um... <laughs> Jay and I... Uh, the example we like to make is because the first season of Owl House has all of these like, do you remember earlier when I was like, oh yeah, um, fucking, I don't like that part in The Last Wish where I, I don't mm -hmm. really like the Goldilocks thing because if you're, you know, eight years old or older, you might know, I, Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm very stupid and missing something because I'm trying to keep the stream interesting and am thus making the stream fucking boring. Um, Mm. And it's like, oh, I know exactly where this is going to go. Like, Owl House Season 1 has all these episodes where it's like, King, who, irresponsible character who's hard to work with, we should write a book together. Yeah, it'll be great! And it's like, all right, this is going to go badly, and King will do something bad, and then he'll have to help lose and apologize. And that will be the end. And that just happens exactly every single time. And then in Season 2, it's like, we're still gonna teach lessons, but it's like, here's some life lessons on how you might deal with uh, an older relative who's like, wants the best for you, but also they're like anti-vax or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's like, I got wow, that that's much more interesting actually. Let's do that more often. Hmm. I feel so stupid. <laughs> Disney hates things that are creative and good. No, Disney has a rule where they don't let anything good happen until the season one finale of their shows. I don't understand why they do that. But like, even Gravity Falls. No, yeah, Gravity Falls is exactly guilty of that. Great show, but definitely has that problem. Star Versus did that. Not that Star Versus is good, but it did do that. Honestly, that was why it's not a cartoon, but that was what made The Good Place so fucking revolutionary and a breath of fresh air was the fact that it kind of for a second looks like maybe they're going that way. But when you take in the full scope of the show, it's like, no, it made sense for season one to have the structure it did, and then they immediately didn't do what you assumed they were going to do going into season two, and the status quo is allowed to change mid-season frequently instead of it being reserved for finales. So I think rather than fumble around here for another half hour, we've been going about three hours, I think it might be smartest for me just to call stream here and try, since this week I was really busy, but next week I actually can, like, mm -hmm. run around and do shit off stream. And I've got three save files. So we might be able to finish next time. Yeah! Though, I, th I think it'll probably be like a four-hour session. Woo! Oh. Oh. Can we, can we start earlier then? If we can try, yeah. Possible? We'll try. If, yeah, okay. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> I just ended the stream there. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>